uh, I'm going to show stuff on your walls. You know, <laughs> like you are. <laughs> and you're like, I am. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like hanging stuff. Got a hammer. <laughs> like, Excuse me, sir. Can I help? All... <laughs> we don't want your artwork here at the uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's not a good establishment for your uh, penis drawings. <laughs> Welcome to Waiting to Dry. One talks too little, one talks too much. We're a happy family. <laughs> That's my brand new one. <laughs> That's awesome. We got Jackson Dryden on the podcast today. Hello. Hello. I don't know why I'm so energized right now. <laughs> I think it's whatever you're drinking. Over there. Yeah. <laughs> Full of, uh, what is that? It's mineral water. Yeah, it's like not even... Uh, um, caffeine. Yeah, it's not even real sugar in it. <laughs> uh, you're supposed to say I'm Sergio Lopez. Oh, did I not say say that yet no. okay you're some i'm dude. sergio lopez <laughs> I'm, Josh Lawyer. I'm getting worse and worse at these <laughs> at least you're comfortable that's good uh, i think that's your worst one so far sergio it's gotta be do you want to restart that we can redo it you can re-edit no it. Yeah, way re-edit it uh, round two <laughs> uh nice thank you so much for doing this oh yeah thank you thanks for having me absolutely yeah um <laughs> you stay in uh San Jose, right? San yeah, Jose. Yeah, we bought a house in San Jose about uh, two and a half years ago. Nice. Yeah, it's really cool. So a billion dollar house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's totally. Cool. It's going mansion shopping and uh, <laughs> happened to see this one place. So, uh, no, it's it's cool. It's actually, uh, my met my wife actually at San Jose State in art school. Uh -huh. And uh, we were never going to go back to San Jose. And then we had a kid. And then all of a sudden, we're like, uh-oh, we need a house. So uh, the only place that we can afford was san jose really so, yeah like for house you know because uh -huh. we were living in uh san mateo san oh mateo yeah, yeah, was, like, yeah one of the highest rents yeah i lived in mm. san mateo when i was a kid oh, okay yeah yeah it's cool that's a cool place yeah, it's cool so, yeah it's right just, next to the city but yeah no it's nice now we live way out in the middle of i don't say the middle of nowhere but <laughs> we're definitely on the south tip of the bay area oh so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, you, are you what part of san jose uh, it's a Blossom Hill, Blossom Valley area. Oh, okay. Guess, yeah. That's kind of fancy too. That's not too bad. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I think my buddy lives out there. I never know. Yeah. <laughs> I lived on the east side. Okay. Uh, yeah, shout out to east side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you're homies over there. <laughs> <laughs> Pour out some of that bubbly uh, food. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it was cool though. Yeah, we've uh, we've kind of we're in the peninsula for a bit. And we rent and stuff, and then nice. we ended up just you know we had our kid, and it was time to kind of put some roots down so, so nice. yeah. was your wife going to college for art as well yeah so we actually met there and then um she ended up going to dreamworks um right oh, when she nice. was graduating and i then, think i've heard of that place eh, it's you know it's this place <laughs> right? it's like pixar but no <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's my favorite uh yeah. intro symbol thingy you know the little yeah thing. yeah it's yeah. always my favorite. Yeah. Every time I see them, I'm like, oh, they did it the best. And then they like, spice <laughs> it up and do something different with it. Yeah. Um, it's like penguins or... <laughs> but, right. Uh, yeah, yeah. I actually worked there too myself. Uh -huh. uh, I worked there for a few years. Nice. Yeah. That was cool. I did think you... when I met you, you were still working there? Maybe? Probably, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I think... Yeah, because I was... I think I was painting with uh, somebody that... Do you remember Cameron? Mm -hmm. one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I was around that time. And uh, yeah, that's when I met you. So I was work yeah, I was working there. Yeah. Nice. What, yeah. did, what did you do for? Uh, uh, so I was in the mailroom to start, and then I did a PA, and then I did a little bit of artwork, mm -hmm. and then I was trying to do a little bit of story, and um, uh, it just didn't work out like timing wise or hmm. whatever. Um, I ended up leaving there, and actually, it's an interesting story how I how I left. Uh, I was pretty much ready to go because like creatively i wasn't getting anything from it uh -huh. and uh i was a uh, pa on madagascar 3 and hmm. guardians uh oh, the, the bill joyce yeah <laughs> 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 the bill joyce uh do you know bill joyce is no idea uh, i'm horrible at names. awesome awesome artist mm. um, there's all these like uh children's books and they get turned into movies uh -huh. wow. and uh yeah check them out uh so i was ready to go i was a pa and uh, just PA is just basically like kind of grunt work, and I was just like, I'm I'm done. I gotta do something. And as I was thinking that, all of a sudden, I got this uh, Facebook 
message and it said artist on it. And I was like, huh. <laughs> so I click on it and it's like, hey, this is uh, Sarah from uh, Henry Selleck's studio that we were doing over in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. We're doing stop motion. Are you familiar <laughs> with Henry Selleck at all? Or? I'm, I'm literally horrible. Uh, uh, so, <laughs> you know, Nightmare Before Christmas uh -huh. and Coraline. Uh -huh. he, he did those. Oh, oh okay. wow. Yeah. Wow. And so they were looking yeah. for, they were looking for people. Like we were looking for an artist and uh, my name happened to get brought up. Mm -hmm. And I was, it was crazy because like the timing was crazy. I was like, like, what is this? That's and awesome. I was just kind of blown away by it. And, uh, yeah. so, uh, Julia, uh, oh, Lundman, uh -huh. she, her, uh, was it James Baker, Jamie Baker recommended me, I guess Henry was looking for people that, uh, let's see, quote unquote, tainted, haven't been tainted by the industry, fresh blood kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, uh, my name got brought up and, mm. uh, and That's I great. got to be an artist. So in this show was wow. backed by disney hmm. and then disney uh like a year and a half two years later canceled it okay. uh, saving their shillings for uh star wars basically <laughs> yeah. I, I assume i don't know <laughs> well, right. they, they, that was amazing they should have a couple more shillings in their pocket too <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> to distribute. i know i know uh, yeah it was crazy though because like the the stop motion thing is a trip because wow. it was like a kid in a candy store i was doing props and uh, did a little, did a little so did you design. have any background in that or did you just kind of jump in feet well first? i mean i went so i did the art school thing and i mm -hmm. it was very uh, visual design heavy like towards like film and gaming and stuff so okay mm -hmm. um but my work it was crazy the, the thing that really got them on my on the radar was my personal work yeah yeah so all mm -hmm. the stuff that i do yeah. All the ink stuff, I guess, right. was right up Henry's alley, and hmm. it kind of makes saw sense. The work. Yeah, because when I was looking at your work, I was like, "Oh, it's kind of like lighthearted but dark at the same time." Yeah. And so when you name like those two movies, it's like, "Oh yeah, they they fit pretty good." Like, mm -hmm. yeah, lighthearted and dark is kind of right. a, a good fit for you. It seems like yeah, it was it was a real uh, hands down my, my favorite job I've ever had. It was just a trip because awesome. basically I would create work, I would create props for the film, mm -hmm. and then somebody would make it, you know, and it'd be this three-dimensional thing. And you're like, what wow. the hell? Like I made like, you know, like taxis and buses and tables and all types of stuff for the film. That's and crazy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was a trip. It was really cool. That's awesome. I got to, I got to design like a, Henry was really interested in like monsters, uh, the famous monsters magazines. Okay. Yeah. I'm and not uh, sure I'm yeah, it's like kind of like B movie monsters, like really, okay. like, you know, it's a, a gigantic B <laughs> or, you know, uh -huh. Caterpillar Man or something. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they, uh, I actually get to design these like, like masks and stuff. I can't talk about it too much, I guess, because of the NDA and stuff, but like mm -hmm. there's a lot of like monster uh, feel into it, which was really cool because I was like right at my, my alley, just doing kind of yeah. picturesque kind of things. So, yeah. It was fun. It was yeah. cool. Yeah. Does it frustrate you at all not to be able to talk about some of the things because of NDAs? Yeah, of course. Yeah, because it's definitely, you've put a lot of time and effort into it and stuff. Right. right. Yeah, and it's definitely, you know, for the work that we did, it was pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. We were on this journey and we were making the movie. And, mm -hmm. you know, people were making small shoes and sweaters for <laughs> puppets. And, you know, <laughs> awesome. it's just crazy. You know, and you see what the work that's being done. And uh, to find out that, you know, someone's coming in to shut it down it just really sucked so, yeah <clears throat> it's just like okay <laughs> yeah wow. yeah so that's crazy yeah yeah huh. we were trying to sell it too and we did a whole dog and pony show and mm -hmm. it's like look what we're doing and, mm -hmm. uh i was working on this one thing that i was like loathing i was like oh i just want to be done <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh like sony would come through and universal and we'd like be like oh excuse me i'm working on my thing and mm -hmm. <laughs> they come in and see us like you know working so huh yeah it was fun it was and so, blast. so you kind of do you go back and forth from like personal work to like these this kind of entertainment industry type uh, jobs yeah so i've done a little bit of everything i've done uh i worked at gopro for a little bit and did like storyboards okay hmm. and like um like user journey type things and oh, yeah. then, uh, worked in gaming after uh, the Henry thing. Uh -huh. uh, once that went, I, there's another guy that found me. He was like doing uh, social gaming. So mm. I did social gaming for about like a year and <laughs> then that got let go. A lot of things getting let go. <laughs> yeah. So that, that's how that artist worked though in that type of field. Like, you know, not everything makes it. So, um, but yeah, I, I put my hands in a little bit of everything. So mm -hmm. which is nice. It is kind of strange though, because people see the work and they go, Oh, like, how do you do that? And it's mm. like, well, you just kind of wear different hats. You know, you have, to, if you right. can draw well, you know, you, you can draw like, 
you can switch it up. Right. I mean, everyone's got their style and they have a very distinct mm-hmm. like line or whatever. But um, obviously, if you're getting paid to do something, you're not going to be making, you know, like my sketchbook work and the like, <laughs> right. GoPro stuff. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, you like you learn how to switch it up. Nice. Also making it digital and stuff like I find digital to be the work, like professional work. And then mm-hmm. the, the, my personal stuff, I try to keep like in a sketchbook or, right. you know, like ink. Yeah, so. when it when it comes to professional work because it can be kind of like pulled away from you in an instant yeah is there a lack of like um you know like come i don't know like like ho- holding on to it or making it precious or or is uh, or is it just a heartbreak kind of ordeal uh well i haven't had a lot of projects under my belt with that type of thing like with the film uh-huh. like the the henry th- henry thing was cool you know because it was like we're making this thing and it was it was beautiful and you know we're backed by disney it was right. great and we knew that you know down the way we're gonna have this beautiful film and we had a kick-ass uh group of artists and mm-hmm. everybody everybody was good they hired the best of the best with everything like best painters best uh you know fabricators you name it and uh you know we're on this journey and to, to have it be pulled from under you of course it's gonna suck and you know you before we can uh before the studio shut down you actually got a chance to go down and like look at the sets being um filmed mm-hmm. and you get to see them all being staged and everything and the cameras and it, it was it was a trip it was crazy yeah it was <laughs> it was pretty like heartbreaking because it's like oh god this is like going away you know if it, if someone doesn't buy this yeah then this just goes into a shredder yeah it's like oh god okay it's such a crazy concept just because yeah. you know as an artist we're, yeah. we're kind of like lucky in that we really have control over the product from beginning to end you yeah. know if we decide we don't want to do it anymore we just are like that didn't work out and you toss it to the side mm-hmm. yeah but um you know in, in a scenario like that it just sounds tough i'm just such a control freak that for <laughs> me it would be a misery to like yeah be well, in that predicament yeah, you know, I guess you have to wear a tough skin and kind of realize that some things that you might work on for months uh-huh. just get shelved. And then you're just like, okay, yeah, that was six months of my life, yeah, that's my tough. work life. But again, you're getting paid. You're getting paid yeah. to do something. You know, you get right. to do artwork. Yeah. You know, how many people get to really do that? Yeah. And, it, uh, that's mm-hmm. kind of the thing you always have to have in the back of your mind. It's like, hey, like I am getting paid. Yeah, it sucks that it's not going to be used. But yeah. You just keep moving on. So, yeah. 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 That- you know, there's that like idea about us as artists that, you know, kind of having your stuff be seen is almost like a big chunk of why we do it in a way, you know? Yeah. I mean, we yeah. love doing it and that sort of thing, but you always, at the end of the day, you kind of want to be like, and look at this mom, you know, <laughs> but to the world. And so, yeah, it's just interesting to kind of like. Well, I think we all have like, you know, ego. You know, even though ego can be kind of a a, a a funky word to certain people, right. I, I feel like we all do. And it's like, all... no, I don't take it back. Yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> I'm not a ego, yeah. yeah, but we all you do. Want to fight? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like everyone's, you know, a lot of artists do have their ego because it's just them. It's almost like a tennis player or something. It's yeah. like there's nobody backing you. You know, yeah. I mean, one thing with the 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 Henry thing is that you had a team that had to work cohesively to make everything look like it was a like one voice right you know but everybody's different we all have our strengths and we all have our weaknesses yeah so yeah. you know it, then again it's like you're working in that that realm like we're all there was, there was a there was only a few of us really it was hmm. me and three other artists and then an art director wow. or a few art directors and then a production designer hmm. yeah that's so, a pretty small team right it was small yeah mm. when we first got there it was only a few of us so like you gotta imagine me like ready to quit you know and go work I was like, I'll flip burgers. I don't care. Like mm-hmm. well, just for now, I need to go. Mm-hmm. And then to go from that to visiting the studio with, you know, Henry Selick and uh, Lou Romano, who's a, uh, used to work at Pixar. He was our production designer. Okay. And so he's another like big name guy who worked on the Incredibles and stuff. And mm-hmm. just to go from that, like I had to go to lunch and go up to the studio and like see what they were doing and basically kind of do a, like an interview and mm-hmm. then I had to go, like, basically, like, go back to work. And, you know, it's like, oh, my God. Like, that just happened. Wow. <laughs> you know? That's awesome. Yeah, it was a trip. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the whole thing was crazy because it was, like, um, the 
to see that the thing on Facebook I was talking about earlier and to go like, what is this? And all of a sudden, uh, Julia's like, Hey, you might get this in a right. call, you know, or an email. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I already got it. Where did it come from? It's like, Oh, it came <laughs> from Jamie. He recommended you. I'm like, okay. So is it, yeah. the, is, if you had the choice, would that kind of be the direction you would prefer to go artistically? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I would, I, I would say doing that work, it was very satisfying. Huh. It was That's fun because awesome. it was, I love stop motion because it's really like, it's kind of a, it's a weird medium mm -hmm. and it's, it's almost like painful because it's like, you have to do, you have to make the work. It's not yeah. like you just go into a computer and like fart it out. Basically it's mm -hmm. like, somebody yeah. has to build this stuff. Yeah. You have to build every single thing and it has to be designed. It's not like you could just make it. Mm -hmm. I mean, like obviously the computer does what it does, but when something's made by hand, I mean, it's pretty, that's tangible and, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, it's cool. Like, it's just got a real cool vibe to it. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's sometimes so, I, like, will watch a, a stop motion film and then have to, like, remember that mm -hmm. I'm watching a stop motion film. Yeah. You know, I know. Like, <laughs> it's, like, it's so crazy because you're like, oh, mm -hmm. someone built all of this. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know that, like, like I did a thing with, uh, with that where they were, I think it was, uh, let's say either Kubo or the one before it mm. and they had to like basically showed you like hey this is how it's made because oh, most wow. people they go i'm looking at a movie cool. yeah, yeah but they don't realize it's like no someone actually like animated this uh -huh. yeah. like they took you know their time to actually move the arms and the yeah. legs and take pictures and it's always crazy when you see the like the, the time lapse of someone filming a scene yeah yeah <laughs> like, it's, wow. a, it's a lot of work yeah it's a lot of work and it was crazy too because there's people who are making like like literal like literal little shoes Right. That was someone's job. They were like, I'm going to make a little shoe. Yeah. You know, and like this, these ladies were like oogling over this portfolio and they're like, look at this lady's work and stitch work. And I know nothing about it. And I'm like, right. oh, cool. <laughs> but they were like, literally like, just like, oh my God, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. We have to have her. And it's like, <laughs> but it's like, everyone's got their passion. And, yeah. You know, they all yeah. brought it to the table. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. It was cool. So I hope, I hope more stop motion comes out, mm. you know. Cause you hear like a uh, Guillermo del Toro is doing something with like Pinocchio. Oh really? Yeah. Oh really? It's, always, it's been around, but who knows? That's cool. Yeah. Now that he won an Oscar, hopefully he'll. Did you guys watch um, Isle of Dogs? I didn't. Uh, yet, no. I haven't yet. Oh okay. I want to though. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, there's yeah. there's some CGI in there, but for the most part, it's all. Yeah, stop motion. I was literally going to watch that today. Oh, were you? <laughs> God, <I've> got time. <laughs> <laughs> no time for anything. Yeah, I know. As you get older, everything goes by way too fast. I don't know. It's crazy. Unless you have kids. <laughs> That's hopefully. So wait, it's nighttime? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, planning on never having kids. So. <laughs> You're a true artist. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, hopefully uh, that works they're out awesome. for me. <laughs> they're, they're awesome. <laughs> yeah. This is a lot of work. I know. I'm, 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 I'm not under like the, the naive idea that like kids aren't awesome, oh, yeah. that they aren't life changing, or that they aren't the greatest thing you could ever create. <laughs> I just personally don't want them. Like I'm like, I get all that. I understand I'm like I'm signing up to like miss out on a huge part of life, but it's Uncle Josh. I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Go hang out with Uncle Josh. Uh, <laughs> nice. Uh so yeah. so since you work like a creative job, do you end up uh pulling away from like your own kind of drawing and in, in your sketchbooks and um, so I've always drawn, like, mm -hmm. I've, that's just kind of like the thing I just do, you know, just I, a I, habit. Yeah. I just yeah, out yeah. of a habit almost like, it's almost like, you know, uh, my coffee or something and just, right. you know, just constantly drawing. Yeah. Even when I didn't have anything to draw, I would just draw like lines, you know, or shapes oh. hmm. just to make my arm move, you know? Right. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. And you normally like in your, do you normally like create in a sketchbook? Is that kind of where a lot of the time is spent? Uh, yeah. Like when that's my personal work, uh -huh. I, as much as I'd like to work on single sheets of paper and have things be frameable and stuff, mm -hmm. I just kind of find myself having, grabbing pens, like anything that's like ink. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't really Cause you use a lot of like much. brush pen. Stuff yeah, like yeah. Yeah. I just kind of use, I've been using brush pens, I think since like 2006 or seven. Mm -hmm. I've just kind of just been using them ever since. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'll use other things like watercolor and whatnot, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. primarily, uh, Primarily ink, because yeah. it's just easy. Like it's just easy to sit down somewhere, and you don't have a palette. And as much as right. I love to paint, you know, I just feel like I have a I have a small sketchbook and I have a brush pen, and let's see what yeah. I can make out of it. You know? Yeah, brush pens yeah. are pretty awesome. They are cool. Yeah. yeah, you know, it's cool because you can you can really find strengths and weaknesses in it. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of things like you know, I used to use like a 
a ballpoint pen mm-hmm. and I would just those are awesome too yeah, yeah. They, I used to feather with it and I had a mm-hmm. teacher was like yeah. don't don't do that and I was like don't do what and he's like here take this like uniball pen from office max or whatever really? and it was just like came out with this like funky like line and he's like this is what you draw with now and i was huh. like oh god and <laughs> it's like because it basically shows it's like it's like commitment you know and so it's huh. like hmm. you, you couldn't mess up because with a, a ballpoint pen for me it would just sit there and like, lightly like me yeah you can mm-hmm. it's almost like make, a pencil and yeah it's almost yeah. like a pencil and then he basically kind of put me on this this trajectory of like don't do that like wow. go go bold now you know uh-huh. and, and yeah get, which was nice but at the time i was like what is this this is awful like all my drawings look like shit and, right. <laughs> yeah you know but um yeah and then i found a brush pen uh, from a guy from work to dreamworks and then mm-hmm. just kind of like he's like oh, this is how you use it it's kind of like painting mm-hmm. yeah um, so i kind of took it that approach like there's thin lines or stick lines right. mm-hmm. you can use ink wash and make tone out of it mm-hmm. um yeah, add pencil on top. Or it is this crazy, like barely a pen pen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's really just like a mobile paint. Yeah, paint in brush a way, in yeah, a right. weird way. Yeah, it is. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> yeah. But it, it's cool. And 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 it, it's one of those things where like people that I think use it a lot, you, you end up seeing like, first of all, their mark making. They just end up getting really comfortable with making their marks, and yeah. it end up kind of uh um it dictates style in a way you know brush paint painter brush people that use brush pens a lot mm-hmm. i feel like their their style it's just just the medium it dictates it pretty well but yeah in a way it also is like this really cool thing that is pretty versatile if you know how to use it right so yeah, yeah. so that's cool um <clears throat> so 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 you just carry a sketchbook everywhere you go, is that right? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, I, I used to carry a sketchbook a lot, like mm-hmm. years back, and then just recently, you know, I I do and I don't. So it's like I'll, I'll bring it when I know that I got some time, but if mm-hmm. I have, like, no time to do something, then it stays at home. But mm-hmm. advice to anybody out there, just carry your sketchbook. It's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just because mm-hmm. just you never know when, you know, something might happen. Yeah. You got oh. some time, you know. I was just watching like a little video. What's that guy's name that uses the brush pens? Who's like, he'll just like, I think it's like Kim something. Oh, something. Kim Jung Gi. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 No, he's he's awesome. And he was he was like talking about how he was like, I mean, he's just like a an amazing person. He just can like without reference or anything, just kind of yeah. do things and mm-hmm. weird angles and perspectives. And just kind of, perspective. Yeah. yeah. He's just a wild man, and he mm-hmm. um. He was saying, oh, yeah, when I was, like, a kid or when I was trying to learn how to draw, I would just draw nonstop all the time. Mm. And oh, it's, right. And it's yeah. literally, like, the best advice yeah. I feel like anyone can get. It's just, like, always, always just be working if yeah. you want to be a good artist. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah. It's pretty much all it takes is just a crap load of time. And, like, I think he said also, like, try to, like, do tricky things, you know, yeah. like, hmm. tricky angles and tricky perspectives kind of I, he worded it probably way more poetic than that <laughs> um, and and i kind of those are like the two things i always tell people whenever they ask me i'm like yeah just draw non-stop and try to like push yourself to like a tricky like to like to things you don't think you can accomplish yeah and i end up like just you just get better and better yeah you gotta you just gotta push through because i feel like a. I saw his work before he blew up uh mm. i was over at dreamworks and this guy he was an animator it's like, you ever seen this guy's work? And I was like, no. And it was like that big old thick book. And, oh, uh, sure. The 2007 one. And I was hmm. like, holy crap, look at this guy. Mm-hmm. You know, it was just like amazing to see like somebody just makes like, just cranks out that much work, you know, and then to find out that he just does it from his head. It's like, come yeah, on, dude. Really? <laughs> yeah. And I was like, I was going to give up. I actually have an interesting story. He, uh, he actually follows me on Instagram. Nice. And, That's uh, a pretty good pat on the back. Yeah, it's not, it's not bad. <laughs> What's well, funny though is when I saw it, I was like, no, 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 please don't follow me. There's like you know, that pressure of like, right. you know, right. someone sees your work, you're like, oh god, no. Yeah. And but then you find out it's like, oh, they they like you for what you do. Like, right. You know, so it's a, it's nice. I actually met him, uh, gave him a drawing. And he still remembers me. And the drawing's cool. like, yeah, he's like, I got your remember your drawing. I was like, cool. <laughs> he's the nicest guy too. He's just a super super chill guy. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. You always wish that 
if they're that talented that they're not nice so you can talk a little smack. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny when they say you, you shouldn't meet your heroes, you know. Right. Yeah. That's true yeah. most of the time. Yeah. A good chunk of time. Most, most people are pretty cool. So. Yeah. <laughs> Every once in a while, you, you, you probably only remember it if they let you down. Yeah. Like, uh, like, oh, I remember you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, probably. That's probably true. For the most part, <laughs> people are nice. Yeah. yeah. And friendly. Yeah. Most, most people that are, you know, worth their salt are, you know, they're not trying to, they're fine. They're comfortable. You mm-hmm. know, they don't, they don't care about, you know, hiding, you know, information from you or, right. you know, I, I remember a few people like that. It's like, hey, how did you do that? And they're like, you figure it out. And yeah. Like, oh, geez. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll figure it weird. out. <laughs> and just appreciate what you're doing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. yeah. Especially if it's... It, it, like I'll get sometimes I'll get questions on Instagram where they'll ask me something and I'm like, and I'll kind of look at the work and I'm like, you need to like just be drawing and painting all the time. Like you don't mm-hmm. need to worry about like random yeah. details. But like if it's someone who's like, you know, been putting in a lot of like who's like a artist who's and they're like, oh, how did you do that technique? Mm-hmm. Just to add to their repertoire of yeah, things. And right. I'm like, yeah, I'll let you know. Because, <laughs> you know, like you're going to use it. <laughs> yeah. Right. But these people are kind of look. There's other people that are kind of looking for like a magic like trick to like getting good. And you're like, there's no magic there's trick. No, it's just hard it's work. a lot of work. Yeah. Just, just keep grinding it out for a while. Like, yeah. And then you'll get there. And then, mm-hmm. and then you can start like adding, I feel like, techniques and things like that. And yeah. Look, right those type of things to your work, but you should just be learning proportions and yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah, no, it's just constantly doing whatever you like to do. Like if you're interested in watercolor painting, you just, you just, the, someone told me just find out the strengths and weaknesses of whatever your medium is mm-hmm. and just kind of like go with that and, you mm-hmm. know, just, just have fun with it, you know, cause it's like you become the master of what your, your tool is. So it's like, you know, with a brush pen, uh, there's other people that are way better than I am with it, but it's like, there's a journey, right? There's a journey to going through it, but you, you find out if you use it enough, you know, you've put the mileage in, it gets comfortable. It almost becomes like an extension of yourself. Right. Mm-hmm. For sure. Um, yeah. You know, so it's, yeah. it's definitely just, just keep drawing. Yeah. Know? I just picked up a brush pen for Inktober mm-hmm. for the first time in probably like a year or two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I was like, ah, oh, this thing is like oh, yeah. the first couple of like <laughs> movements and make them like oh yeah this thing is tricky yeah Mm -hmm. well it's funny seeing the people that go for inktober that don't do it Mm -hmm. right it's like all black (laughs) (laughs) it'll be like it's like all negative space and whatever whatever they can like fix (laughs) is the positive thing right like i i I tried yeah (laughs) day one (laughs) and that was funny because one of our friends uh is uh tony Giraldi uh brown okay uh He's a, like an ink drawer, and he okay. and right around like the beginning of October, he was like, oh, "I need to learn how to paint." And I'm like, "What are you doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> it is I October. This is your time to shine. <laughs> <laughs> right? This is your moment, man. Yeah. Yeah. All like, eyes are watching." <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "I got my 28 oil paints. <laughs> yeah. uh, Ready for Inktober? <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. Oiltober. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Oiltober." <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, there are, there funny. are people that are trying to do like, uh, cause oh, yeah. I, I've been, uh, <laughs> like, uh, whenever I post on Instagram this month, I've been just been saying like not, and then hashtag, uh, uh Inktober <laughs> <laughs> as a, like a joke to like, and then I, uh, um, and then I'll write paint Tober and there's like a bunch of people who are doing paint Tober and I'm like, oh. I'm just kidding, people. Like, You're like no, no. This yeah. is what is doing doing this for reals. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the hashtags uh, can get a little nutty, you know, uh, a little bit. Yeah. So, so with your with your artwork, <clears throat> you 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 end up doing a lot of like pattern stuff and textures, and like it's almost uh, chaotic in a way. And it's got and and it's kind of got this like cartoony feel. Yeah. But then not. I don't know how to explain <laughs> it. I was when I was looking through your stuff. I was like, I don't know how to explain what you do as yeah. like a, a. You know, we as humans like to like clump people into groupings. Yeah, like, of course. Yeah. Or like compare it to like maybe. <laughs> oh, you kind of remind me of this person or that person, right. and it's like, I don't know the the one of the things that i kind of was like it kind of reminds me of is like i don't know some kind of like japanese style art in a weird way i don't know why that is 
Um, I don't know if there's any influences. Like, it's even like um, this this do uh, this. I don't know what to call it. I always call things like this doodles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, people get offended when I do call my what? own doodles doodles. They're like, don't call it a doodle. I'm like, doodle such not? a bad word. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why that is. Uh, I'm taking it back. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Reclaiming it. <yeah. laughs> cool doodles, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's funny. But like, uh, even like the head on top kind of reminds me of like the the it the, does look the, like the a dragon. Chinese yeah like I'm like the Chinese New yeah, Year's kind of thing yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was like oh there, I don't know if there's any like <laughs> if you're pulling from any of like those like cultural like Im- images or anything like that yeah so it's funny because I get I do get that uh, quite a bit for kind of what it is uh-huh. and it's it's actually nice to hear because <laughs> it becomes like your own thing uh-huh. uh, you're right. for me it's funny because I usually just, I kind of make marks and then I just see where it takes me. Okay. So I kind of like hmm. turn my brain off. Okay. And that kind of makes sense. I'm kind of giving my shit away, but I also have <laughs> videos of it, of me doing it. So, uh-huh. oh yeah. Yeah. So basically, yeah, I just, uh, when you draw enough, you know, you just, it's like a driving a car or something. You mm-hmm. just start to just start making marks as long, mm. as long as you don't think about the piece of paper, you're just like, oh my God, what do I have to draw? Mm-hmm. Right. You know, like 25% of the time. I, I, I'm drawing a certain thing. But mm-hmm. 75% of the time when I'm drawing personal work, it's just to make marks. Hmm. And then I start leading my line work into whatever it becomes, you know? Hmm. So for me, it's I, I don't look at like heavy reference or anything. I'm just kind of going on the journey. Right. Yeah. So for me, it's like, it's just as much of a journey as it is for the watcher or the person who's looking at it. You know, so for me, it's like, oh, okay, cool. Like, you know, add here, add there. Mm-hmm. Um yeah, I I try not to overthink it because once I once I start to overthink it and then it gets really tight, or if I put pencil work in the the beginning and then mm-hmm. put like ink on top, mm-hmm. it starts to really get stiff. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've noticed that for my my work. So for, sure. for me, it's just kind of like stream of conscious kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah, I kind of do a similar thing when I'm like in a like a almost like a painter block or like, yeah. like a drawing, like everything I'm drawing is garbage. <laughs> then I'll like, uh, kind of allow myself to almost go into that weird area of like, I'm just going to like do weird markings, yeah. draw stupid, like things that I don't take serious. Yeah. Uh, and I'll like see it when I'm going through my sketchbook, like years later, I'll see like a couple of pages where I'm just like, all right, I kind of like obviously was in a weird yeah like point there so i would just <laughs> let myself go crazy and just have fun with it yeah. and uh yeah that's cool though yeah i mean for me like when i went to san jose state they were really about drawing and so mm-hmm. for mm. for us like uh i had a figure drawing teacher that um kind of put me on the spot and then basically i was like oh and he's like it's like you're stuttering what are you doing <laughs> and so there's like you know 60 people staring at me and you know it's like nice. my first semester and i was like oh shit well he wanted you to talk about your art or? no no it was more so when he said stuttering it was more like i was sitting there like you know like when someone like a painter calls it like licking oh you're, sure like, yeah like, licking the same <laughs> uh-huh. area and you're like what am i doing you know, <laughs> yeah like, yeah you're just oh uh-huh. you're just moving uh-huh. like, the paintbrush into no like specific place you're just, right right, you're just gonna right. Aimlessly it's kind of like how mark. golfers set up their putt or something yeah like that. <laughs> so it's like every, every... that doesn't know what we're talking yeah. about <laughs> so what <laughs> no it's like uh so if like people that like start out drawing everything looks like hairy like mm-hmm. right. like yeah because really it's just yeah. like the lines are everywhere yeah and, like, he was more about confidence and he's like <laughs> right okay confident thinking you know mm-hmm. and so it's like gesture first you know add construction right. you know, the whole thing mm, so he right. had a book that like did like shapes and so you just draw shapes and so it's just it's just it's like mileage just mm-hmm. putting the the miles on your hand you know and it, at some point your eye starts to like see like where things are supposed to go but mm-hmm. most importantly for me in the beginning was just making my hand move and making like trying different things out. Um, so though like another artist mentioned, it's like, uh, think of like your hands and your fingers being like hinges. Uh-huh. And so like when you're like pushing like a pen or right. like a pencil around, there's so many like variety of like line weight and all types of stuff. Mm-hmm. So it's just making sure that you just kind of put some, put some effort into it, you know, and don't be right. so stiff. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So I just, that's kind of like been my thing. It's just drawing, you know, with my hand and my arm and the the hinges, you know, my fingers kind of thing. So, hmm. yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. But I don't, th- I don't think about it that way. Yeah. <laughs> it was cool. Yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, this guy was using a pencil, but like 
you can use like in a brush pen and stuff mm-hmm. for sure yeah <clears throat> yeah but i don't I know, know if that answers your question <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> fair so, enough. yeah so yeah, when you're I, I, sorry oh i was just gonna say so when you're like doing the mark making <laughs> thing where you're just trying to explore and find things out like are there certain shapes that you come across that um that you like more than others or like you kind of just build on it kind of like i don't know almost like a lego set like you just start with a couple of blocks here and there and just kind of build off of it yeah like i mean i, I think there's certain teachers that mention like uh you know like with painting like going a uh, broad to detail like big mm-hmm. to small okay like it's interesting because like i do both like sometimes i'll make broad like uh, shapes and then i'll work mm-hmm. inside and then there's other times where i'll make tiny shapes like at the beginning and then i'll like kind of like pull out a line that's like you know two inches up or whatever mm-hmm. and then it starts to like make some kind of a form mm-hmm. for me it's just more of like again it's that stream of conscious thing where you're just kind of like don't don't think too much because once you start thinking like oh like that looks wrong <laughs> you're screwed and like you really gotta gotta let it be and you can always fix it later you mm. know i mean we right. think we think you can't but if you put in a photoshop or something you could but <laughs> right yeah i mean this whole stuff the stuff that i do for personal is just for myself mm-hmm. you know it's just fun um but yeah do you end up showing them ever like do you try um, to show them or oh like in a like a gallery type setting yeah um there was talk to do that and then the gallery fell through so How, who are they so we could talk some shit <laughs> <laughs> oh well they're they're actually in san francisco they uh they just i think like the rent and stuff got too crazy but, mm-hmm. yeah they were cool yeah that happens for sure yeah so yeah we were talking about doing a solo show and nice. then i was like i need like a year mm-hmm. and i was like oh, they're like maybe like a few months i'm like oh like you guys have a big gallery i'm gonna, <laughs> gonna fill this thing if i'd you know right for right. sure yeah and then the, in between that time they they had to close down so mm. So then, so then most of the stuff that you do personally, you just show like Instagram is kind of your gallery. Yeah. Instagram is kind of my, my thing right now. So Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, I don't really put anything on like a Facebook or anything. Like everything's Instagram. Um, yeah, that's pretty much where all the followers are. If I had to like start over again, it'd be a pain. For sure. I don't (laughs) even know how that works now. (laughs) Yeah. Starting an Instagram account in 2018. I know. Uh, I feel bad for people sometimes. Well, you know, there's like the whole algorithm thing too, that like your work's just not being shown anymore. Right. Uh, even like myself, like I've kind of hit a plateau. Like mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. just kind of there, and, which is fine, you know, but you know, you want your, you want eyeballs to be on your, your work. Yeah, you for want, sure. You want, you want more followers and stuff, but it's just kind of like this level yeah. thing right now. And yeah. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's an algorithm or what. I've got a weird theory, but I don't want to say that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Was the Instagram police going to come in and <laughs> arrest oh, yeah. you? No, because it's ridiculous. <laughs> Nobody ever like way. believes it either. <laughs> no one's like conspiracy <laughs> theories. No, no, it's not. There's like some logic to it. It just isn't. I don't know. My wife just gives me a lot of crap for uh, <laughs> for saying it to everyone. <laughs> everyone that I like, to, I don't say it out loud for like to be on the internet. I just kind of like tell people. Mm-hmm. Like in, you know, more yeah. when there's not mics on. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you got me intrigued, so maybe you tell me after. Yeah, for the sure. Mics are off. Yeah. sure. I'll tell you. But it's been working for me, is all I can say. <laughs> it really has. I see your numbers keep going up and up, so there's something there, I think. <laughs> and uh, But my wife keeps telling me I'm crazy, so whatever. Is it like a hashtag? Or? No. Oh, okay. I'll tell you later. All right, cool. Uh, what but you yeah. do is <laughs> <laughs> people are furious right now. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> uh, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, Instagram. Yeah, because the reason I ask is because you know, like uh, you go back before Instagram, and it's kind of like this thing where you know galleries are where art is to be seen in a weird way. Yeah, but that's kind of been the amazing thing with galleries is like, you know, for you where you kind of have this like creative job and that's kind of where you seem to want to go. That's the direction you want to go creatively. You also have like this other outlet personally for yourself where you get to create, but you know, at the same time you don't like, it's nice to have people see your work. Yeah. You know, especially if you have a shield of the internet. So you, you don't have to answer any questions. Well, yeah, yeah I guess you do, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, personally, it would be awesome if I could just draw what I draw and mm-hmm. make millions of dollars off it. But I mean, there's too many, there's too many artists out there, and 
uh, most people I feel out there aren't really buying original artwork. I, mm -hmm. I do sell some originals and stuff and it's all prints and yeah. commissions and stuff, but yeah. it's not enough to make like a living for sure. And I don't have the drive to like, cause there's some people that can just hustle and just make that work for them. You know? right. mm -hmm. Yeah, like, for sure. Yeah. Kudos to you. If you can make that work, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you have the books too. Oh, yeah. The books. Yeah. I have, uh, I used, I used to sell those and I've kind of like pulled back, pulled back a little bit. I just feel like after a while, like, you know, life happens like you mm -hmm. just kind of for like, sure it's like oh yeah like I'll, I'll do one later i'll do one later mm -hmm. but there is an audience out there which is nice and people that yeah. like to work and yeah it's cool um yeah i've done like ctns and the apes and all that stuff like all the conventions mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. did but, you uh did you have to like make the entire book yeah so you actually you, you make the book like the interior of the book it's like a pdf mm -hmm. and then you make a cover it's like a psd and then you send it and then they bring it back to you it's a whole like thing it's like a mm. dance you like a sample yeah which is it's interesting because it's like it is cool when it comes in the mail and you're like oh here it is and you get to see it and then for sure then you get to make a hundred of them or whatever and mm -hmm. right. promote the work the one thing that's funny though is like looking back at the work because like the one of the books i gave sergio is my first book and, oh, and then wired yeah wired and then uh they have another one called dirty world <laughs> and then uh the one I gave Josh is Fresh, Fresh Ink. Ink. Yeah, so there's just three books. But yeah, I, I never really got to like making like a store. <laughs> you know, yeah. You know, it's just that whole mm. thing of just like, you know, being on top of it, you know. I feel like, like a sure. lot of creatives do that though. They make the work and then they're like, they really suck at the business aspect of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like, you know. Yeah. So, I'm horrible at that kind of yeah. stuff. My wife is pretty good at it. So. Yeah. There's some people that are good. Just, yeah. Yeah. There's times where people will reach out and they're like, oh, like how much for this painting? She's like, you need to email them right now. And I'm like, <laughs> but do I have to? <laughs> <laughs> so what's it worth? <laughs> yeah. Uh, My time. <laughs> she gets so mad at me for that kind of thing. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry. I just, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. There's this weird thing where like that part of the bit, like that part of the art, that's kind of what galleries work for. Like yeah. that's kind of what they are to me is like, yeah. you take I'm the, the creator, so. they're the salesman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's why, yeah, that's why you get the 50%. Yep. <clears throat> it's, mm -hmm. It is it is worth that because I do feel like people, not that I've used it, but I feel like people, they think about it, it's like, oh, it's a lot of money being mm -hmm. taken away. It's like, well, think about your time. And, yeah. You know, all the things that you do and trying to promote your work and all that stuff. It just it eats up all your time that you're not creating. For you know? sure. So. Yeah. And if I was good at that, I might, you know, be more interested in just doing the independent thing, kind of mm -hmm. pushing forward and trying to do that way but i just i don't know for me it's it's like pulling teeth <laughs> get yourself a manager who takes your money. <laughs> yeah so more money gets taken from me and, uh, yeah and you gotta be really productive <laughs> yeah uh yeah. but that's cool yeah so before you moved to san jose were you f from this area or yeah so i actually i lived in marin when until i was about 14 or 15 mm -hmm. and then oh, really? my mm -hmm. father um, from like 15 to 24. And then I went to art school after that. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Nice. So yeah, I've, I've, I'm from here originally and then yeah, I've never left the Bay area. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of so, the same. Yeah. yeah. One too. place I haven't been is the East Bay. So <laughs> yeah, it's fine. The traffic yeah. sucks there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I hear. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's cool. And yeah. you're, so, you, and you said your wife's from here too. Is that yeah, right? Yeah. She's actually originally from Santa Rosa. So nice. okay. yeah, she's from here. And that's cool and you yeah, guys met in san jose isn't that weird yeah so <laughs> yeah we met down there it's like <laughs> oh you're from there i'm from here that's cool yeah because i used to live in petaluma just uh like i guess like 10 miles away so yeah, yeah. out in the boonies <laughs> yeah yeah, that's, yeah. it seems i'm i'm new to this area but it always seems like santa rosa and petaluma have this weird beef with each other in a weird way it's a strange place man. <laughs> yeah they all like seem to talk trash about each other i'm like oh really <laughs> that's like that everywhere though even like marin marin's like you know known as like the the rich people thing but right. like in Nevada, yeah. we were kind of like the the dusty kids <laughs> yeah you know, it was like it was like hicks and you know, <laughs> really? gangster kids and yeah okay. at Nevada's least when i was kind of weird yeah. Nevada was kind of it's a very sleepy place mm -hmm. um I love it there, but yeah, I, 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 that's where my childhood's from. So for oh, me, it's okay. like, it's like, oh, that's cool, you know, <laughs> but right. yeah, it's funny how people kind of put them in categories and oh, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> awesome. I don't know what's happening down in San Jose. I'm sure there's a bunch of shit talking between you know, <laughs> San Jose's Mountain too big of a city. <laughs> 
San Jose is like its own. It is. It's, like, a, it's a juggernaut of a place. It's crazy. Yeah, it's like mini LA. It is. Yeah. It's crazy. It's weird. And they have like one art store. I don't know if it's changed <laughs> since then, but. Oh, yeah. you mean university? Yeah. That place is gone. Oh, is it? It's gone. Yeah. And now it's a motorcycle shop. Oh, really? So <laughs> there's room. Even, yeah. So is there any, is it, what is it, Michael's now? Is that all they've got uh, there? Pretty much. Yeah. Michael's. That's it. Ooh, they don't that's have, have like a Blake or anything like that? No. Like, really? Huh? <laughs> no. And we're, not, we're not Berkeley, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think about how big yeah, the I think city Berkeley, is. Berkeley and San Francisco are the only places that actually have art stores now. I, I don't crazy. understand how San Jose doesn't like. You'd think, right? So, there's a market for people buying art supplies. All the kids that you know. Yeah, so like when somebody yeah. from San Jose State needs art supplies, they got to go up to online. Uh, no, yeah. they go online. Yeah. <laughs> that, oh yeah. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah, I, I used to love going to like university and stuff, and mm -hmm. I think Black is cool and. <laughs> But yeah, I don't want to go to Berkeley to. <laughs> yeah. No, but it's not that cool. It's not that cool at <laughs> all. University was way better. <laughs> crappy coupons, uh, and a card that they make you carry. And, yeah, shots fired. Blake, what's up? Yeah. Come see this. Shut up! Is that rapper? Shut up! University was was good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was it like a flax? A, oh yeah, flax. Flax is coming up. <laughs> I don't know. I picture that place being a bunch of rulers. And like, like it's like paper. architectural, like drafting yeah, supplies yeah. mostly. Oh. Like vellum paper. But they do have some, uh, I guess, yeah, China traditional art supplies and stuff too. Cool. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> when we were, Sketch pad. When, yeah. I was like, <laughs> when I was young and we would do like, uh, you know, paint on people's walls and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, not legally. The, <laughs> uh, the, um, you would be very, you know, like we were, we were just broke kids. So we would just, it's called racking. I don't know if you guys are familiar. No. It's like a graffiti term for like stealing okay. shit. Oh, okay. It's not, not great. Um, <laughs> I'm not proud of it. Like but taking it has, the paints off the racks? Is that kind of where it comes from? Or? Um, probably, yeah. Mm. Is that where they lock them up in that yeah. box thing? <laughs> yeah. It's a yeah. little jail cell. Yeah, exactly. That was because of kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want that crying on. <laughs> yeah. But it's in a jail cell. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, all the drafting like art stores were like always a really good spot to go because no because they're so like random and no one ever goes there. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and they always had like markers and stuff that you could use. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. yeah. just, I don't know. I don't know why I brought this up. It's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Joe. In case you're a little kid trying to rack <laughs> art supplies. <laughs> well, I'm sure they would have figured it out one way or the other. <laughs> uh, it's always funny because it's like, it's like a weird thing where you're like, stealing art supplies to do art. <laughs> <laughs> I need this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We should have been doing like, I don't know, uh, like, coming down from ceilings on ropes and like Mission Impossible and stealing some kind of Fabergé egg <laughs> yeah. with millions. But instead we're like markers and <laughs> paint. Big old fat markers. On. Yeah. Uh, well, those are cool. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't get a chance to use those too much. Pretty bad waste of time there. But <laughs> So let's go to Tangentville. <laughs> a lot That's of good though. It's good. It's good to talk about. Yeah. You know, our, it's like everything's gone. It's crazy how everything's just, you know, all the stores and the mom and pop stores. And, yeah. We've got a really yeah. cool art store here mm -hmm. with like people. We actually have a couple that are pretty good. Riley, yeah. Riley Street. Riley Street. Yeah, Riley and Street. then Village Art Supplies. Yeah. Pretty Village good Art too. Supplies is cool too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they, you know, they're pretty helpful when you go in there. Sometimes you go to an art store and it's like. I don't know, just like a Home Depot, you know, people are yeah. it's like, oh, what well, do you want? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Throw more have... shade on uh, Blake there. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh. they're, yeah, they're gigantic. They're like the for Walmart. Art uh, art yeah, yeah, they store. really are. They're probably owned by them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like Michael's. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What's up for more artsy? Yeah. <laughs> if, you want, if you want a birdhouse, Michael's has all the yeah. birdhouses. <laughs> is, is Blake a uh, world or like uh nationwide nationwide i think, I think so. they are yeah yeah, huh. yeah. yeah. I think I think they, they have them up in portland i don't know that much so <laughs> i don't know what that means <laughs> it's where I mean, all it's, the artists live <laughs> yeah. it's that, uh, you're making a killing <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah. Uh, it just means that if they're in California, Oregon, they must be everywhere. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know how we got to this point. But <laughs> yeah, let's rewind and <laughs> yeah. What you talk about? Uh, <laughs> what else don't we like about San Jose? I think that's where it started. <laughs> so, so when for your art though, you, yeah. uh, I'm assuming since you painted or 
I don't know what to call, I call it doodling in sketchbooks. <laughs> I'm, I'm not being offensive. I'm not trying to be offensive. No, no, no. Um, but uh, I mean, because for me, I, I have like my two sketchbooks I use. I use like a, a tone paper and then like a regular moleskin. Those are like the two main ones. I also have like a watercolor one mm -hmm. that I rarely dive into. Yeah. Uh, I'm assuming from your work, you're using like a watercolor sketchbook. Uh, ish. So, like, I've been using the handbook. That's what they call the handbooks. Uh -huh. uh, I've been using those pretty well. And then, like, I used to use moleskins a lot. Mm -hmm. but then I just kinda... Those are handbooks, right? The ones on the table? Yeah, those are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, like, square format. Mm -hmm. They're pretty cool. They I have good go... paper. Yeah. yeah, they're not bad. So, like, you can actually do, like, watercolor in them and stuff and all types of, mm -hmm. you know, mediums. Um, oh, what was your question? Sorry. Uh, so, sure. oh, yeah, for, like, watercolor paper... I like watercolor paper. I just don't use it as often for like the ink oh, stuff. I like this. Yeah, yeah it's not I, too bad. Because I'm not the biggest fan of watercolor paper just because of its texture. Right. Yeah. I like a smooth finish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, I'm always, uh, huh, I might want to play around with one of these. Yeah, mm -hmm. the, the handbook one's pretty good. Yeah. Whose brand is this? Oh, it's it's called it, Hand. Yeah, it's just Oh, that's oh, yeah. that's, mm -hmm. that's what's brand called? name? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's oh. kind of a weird name. <laughs> That's cool. Google that. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm at Riley Street. <laughs> yeah. Use, the whole uh, watercolor pretty good? Yeah. It's pretty good. I mean, it's, I mean, it's slim, but it's, yeah, it holds pretty and well. I like the size and how they open, the pages open up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like this weird thing. I feel like th when you do art for long enough, there's like weird little details you pick up. It's like, yeah. oh, the page opens up so nice. Yeah. yeah no, exactly. You got to be really anal about it. Well, I'm left-handed too. So when you used oh. to have like the, the coil binding, uh -huh. oh, it's sure. like the nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, good. Oh, that you makes know. sense. Yeah. Yeah. If, you yeah. if you have a coil binding notebook, stop listening. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll give you some if you want. <laughs> I got about four of them. Yeah. Uh, they're my <laughs> like least I, favorite thing that and then the know. fact that they have like the a lot of times they'll have that like little cut thing where yeah. you can rip the page out <laughs> yeah and then so your your notebook is just falling apart yeah. by the end of the <laughs> yeah. book. you just have like seven pages in the book yeah because they all fell out i remember being at like art school and they had a couple oh, guys yeah. that actually had those and they had like seven pages they ripped all 94 <laughs> yeah. or whatever else out. Uh -huh. I'm like dude what's up with you <laughs> it's all covers yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. well the drawings suck and i wrote drawing suck on it and so they rip it out <laughs> it's like uh, you no know, that's the thing it's like it's it's the whole thing about commitment and just mm -hmm. you know the good the bad the ugly you know with sketchbooks it's just oh, yeah. like yeah here it is yeah. yeah i love like if i fuck if i mess up on a face i will um paint over it i will just no i'll just like kind of like scratch out the face and i'll say like face didn't work or like <laughs> right yeah you know today That's sucked good. or whatever <laughs> yeah. or, or didn't work. and uh, i don't know those are like my favorite pages yeah in the sketchbook it's got like some emotion to it yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> just got like a little it's it's, yeah. it's just a great uh way of like remembering i don't know stuff yeah. you gotta you gotta keep the bad drawings don't keep both i think so. so yeah if it's a really bad one yeah uh, there, awesome there was one time i uh I don't know if I've ever told the story, but I left my backpack. Me and my buddies were getting drunk. We used to get drunk in like, I don't know how to explain it. There was, there was this uh, elementary school uh, in East Palo Alto, and mm -hmm. they had these shipping containers kind of like, I don't know what they'd use them for, maybe like mm -hmm. storing like balls or like <laughs> toys or like mm -hmm. kickballs and things like that. Sure, okay. Sporting supplies or something. And we, they were kind of like blocked off so you can get drunk in the middle of them yeah. and not be seen. And yeah. people used to play like soccer there on the weekends or whatever. Yeah. And people used to get drunk there a lot on the weekends. <laughs> it seemed like we weren't the only ones. Um, but uh, we were getting drunk there one night or one day and day kind of turned to night. And then we took off from that spot and went, I think, to my house. But I had my backpack on me and it had my sketchbook in there. And I lost my sketchbook. And uh, I woke up the next day and I was looking for my backpack and my sketchbook to draw. And uh, I realized, like, oh, I think I left my backpack in the area. So I, I, it was like biking distance from my house. So I biked there and I found my backpack. And then I found one sheet of paper 
And it was the like one time I like drew, I think, a male in my sketchbook that was naked. <laughs> <laughs> and whoever stole it just ripped out the one. Like, I don't want this naked man. And threw it. <laughs> and threw it on the floor. And I was like, how dare you? Like, if you're gonna steal my notebook, you have to steal it all. You can't you can't take out That's the kind one. of a slap in the face. I know it was the worst part of it all. It was like, ugh. If you just took the whole thing, it's <laughs> could take this page. I'm okay. Gay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What is dick drawing? What is this? Yeah. Ridiculous, this man. Yeah. Pretty Take much. it away. <laughs> it was so offensive. <laughs> but, she had a big old stack of them. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So now a, all I draw is new guys. Yeah. No one steals my notebook. Yeah. What's that you movie? Decoy, that? Yeah. Yeah. What's the movie where he draws all the penises? Oh, uh, <laughs> super, uh, super bad? Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's like in a tank and a parachute. Yeah. Oh, that guy's laughing. So uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I forget who drew that. There's like a, it's like an artist. It's like a specific person was like, oh, I drew. I, oh right, you're right. Like, yeah. Oh yeah, I drew all the penises on. A, That's like their job was on that? super bad, and <laughs> I was like, that is hilarious. Can you imagine like your resume? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it says here in 2006, you drew a bunch of dicks for uh, super bad. That's pretty cool. <laughs> you're hired. <laughs> you got the job. <laughs> Uh, yeah, hilarious. they were just like flipping through Instagram and they were like, <laughs> what hashtag should we look up? <laughs> yeah. uh, that's awesome. Uh, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's cool. Yeah. Did you ever want to like play around with mural stuff? Uh, I'd love to. Yeah. If there was an opportunity to do it. Yeah, definitely. I don't know your stuff. I feel like would like lend well to that, 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 um, that medium. Yeah. yeah. That's a good point. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it would look. I think it would look awesome on a wall. That'd be cool. Well, if uh, you know any people that have walls that <laughs> need painting, you can always try it out. Uh, <laughs> Go small. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, do, you, do you guys ever do that? Or? I I've never done it. Yeah, yeah. me neither. I'm I mean, kind of in the same boat as you, though. Like, if somebody wants to give me a wall to try it out. <laughs> There's yeah. some plywood. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> see, try this out. It seems like the people that get the murals seem to be like really go getter about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got right. it. You know. Yeah. It's one of those weird I mean, it's not weird. It's, it makes a lot of sense that mm -hmm. they they take a lot of time to kind of go and unless you're like Andrew Hem who just yeah. you know, it's like I think he just gets got the his first one offered to him and he was like oh, really? sure yeah that guy's awesome but mm -hmm. i mean it just made sense but right but uh for the most part i think most mural people are just i still have no idea i'm like are you guys just literally going door to door <laughs> being like oh, that's a nice wall do you want paint <laughs> on it yeah, yeah, just, uh, <laughs> or when a kid flying uh, through the air <laughs> yeah. uh, carrying grocery bags <laughs> but yeah at yeah. the same time it you know, like, uh, when I started doing art, I had no, like, knowledge of how to show in galleries or yeah. how to start showing my work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And anything. so I would just, like, go into, like, boutiques that would have art up and be like, uh, I'm going to show stuff on your walls, you know? <laughs> like, you are? <laughs> and, and, like, I am. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, like, hanging stuff. Just got a hammer. <laughs> like, excuse me, sir. Can I help <laughs> <laughs> we don't want your artwork here at the uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yeah. Uh, it's not a good establishment for your uh, penis drawings. <laughs> but it's got the perforated edge. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So uh, random. It's good. But, but yeah, no, yeah, yeah. That whole that whole gallery thing. I'd, yeah, it'd be cool. I, I've I've done a few things here and there. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, not like you know. Try, oh, I like to do a solo show. I know that you don't make much money out of it, but it'd be cool just to seal the artwork up. You know. Yeah, you've you know, done group shows here and there, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I've done uh, done a few. Which they're always fun mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. Did you ever do the the Moleskin project show no, at Spoke Art? I, I tried to. Oh, but I know there's. Uh, we talked to Rodrigo, and he's like, "There's like 150 people." <laughs> Damn. I'm like, all right, cool. <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, no, it's okay. Yeah, you were like, I, make I least... that 151. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm first. <laughs> Here's this five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> what does Mr. Lincoln have to say? About it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, I mean like. Uh, I don't draw moleskins as much as I used to, but mm -hmm. I do like the sketchbook. I mean, they're fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
but I like the brush pen stuff doesn't really work well with the. Um, there's only like one brush pen that works well oh, for, really? for me. Yeah, the rest of it just kind of like. Is it to do with the on. ink or what's that? Is it to do with the ink? Does uh, it take to it, the paper? It, well? it doesn't take watercolor well either. Yeah, because no, it's, it it's not it's not a super absorbent. No, it's got like come, almost like a little bit of a shellac to it. Yeah, it's the worst. Yeah, when it yeah. Comes to that. Mm -hmm. yeah I, I, there's like the Pento uh, black pen. It's like a pocket brush pen works mm -hmm. perfect with it. But oh. anything else that you use, it just kind of like it just kind of like a it's like a wet like a too yeah. wet of a paintbrush or something. Just kind of like it like beads up. Doesn't yeah, it? yeah, it's really weird. Kind of really watery. I've actually used that to my effect on certain drawings, but yeah, it's like all accidental. It's not like <laughs> a, it's not like it's got purpose to it. So. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, it'd be cool to do a moleskin. If you're out there, I'll do one. <laughs> <laughs> I love to. Yeah, all the work that the, I mean, the moleskin, the stuff you guys, or you did was awesome for that. Did you ever do one? No. I've not. You could be 152. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey. Fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> Look what I can do. <laughs> uh, I mean, I feel like for most artists, there's like a, a million things. It's like, yeah. oh, that would be cool. Yeah. That would be cool if it happens. There's, there's yeah, like, yeah. It really just it ends up being like, how much attention are you going to like, or yeah. of your will are you going to put towards that like there's, thing? There's right, too, exactly. Too many good artists out there. I think that's the thing too. And especially with like Instagram and yeah. Yeah. social media there's so many good artists out there it's really it's hard to be you know out yeah. there we should like, start like a highlander type thing you know <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just there can only be three of us <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah no because like, there's definitely too many yeah <laughs> and how dare they i know <laughs> How we, dare you create? I think we were here first. That's right. That's a seniority <laughs> thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, Instagram is cool. Like, you know. Yeah. It's definitely a cool medium. Mm -hmm. it, it sucks how like things are changing with it too. Like a lot of things like ads and the the chronological thing and. I don't want to keep seeing ads every time I flip up. I know. Yeah, it's, it's worse gotten <laughs> worse and worse lately, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, at least they're kind of figuring out what you're into kind <laughs> yeah of. yeah i can always tell when it's an now because they'll post a lot of like artist yeah. ads yeah i can always tell because i'm like that's not art i would like and then i'm like and i see the word sponsor and I'm like, <laughs> yeah okay. anything that's sponsored, yeah, like, i don't remember <laughs> following this guy why would i follow him oh, <laughs> yeah. okay <laughs> that's right yeah <laughs> i'm like oh that's right that's what you're doing <laughs> it always trips me up when people like buy followers you know mm-hmm like, yeah, I was like, "How do you? Why would you? I don't know. I guess I mean it's a number thing." But. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. I've I've had um some theories about s some uh, artists <laughs> because they'll have like a hundred thousand followers, but they'll get but like a like, hundred likes, right? And, and like they just posted three days ago, yeah, they have a hundred thousand followers, <laughs> and they'll have like one comment. And you're like, huh? Until you have a hundred thousand people following you, like they're very quiet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't make sense. Did you spend some money a couple yeah. of years back? Right, uh, right. How much does it cost, anyways, to get ten thousand followers? I have no idea. I I've seen know. proposals and stuff like that where it's yeah. like, hey, you could buy. I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. The only yeah. thing I've I've done is like I've I've tried to do like the ad thing on Instagram as yeah. like a test, mm -hmm. and it was it was a waste of my time. What yeah. did you, What did you do? Uh, you know, you like, you can just like the make it like a sponsor or whatever. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. But it ends up like, I think I spent like $3, but uh, I got like three, maybe like three followers. I yeah. was like, well, I'm never going to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, yeah, I think ads are better for like if you actually have a product to sell. Yeah, than, yeah definitely. probably. Mm. But even then, it's like, do I want to like have someone see my like if i'm trying to sell stuff i'm trying to sell to like the base of people that are already like stoked on my work right yeah. right Not yeah that makes sense have some randoms <laughs> i thought like oh maybe i'll get like a couple of like some followers and it'll be worth it but yeah. it's like no nah, it's not worth it no <laughs> it's uh just a waste of my time and a little bit of money but <laughs> but i mean even then it's like i, I don't know uh, yeah uh, but you know teach their own yeah. i'm still like kind of curious because the more and more I think it gets dialed down, the more I'll see like, you know, people that I follow will end up being sponsors on my thing. And I'm like, mm. and it's usually galleries and I'm, and then and oh, when right. the galleries start maybe putting money into it, I start getting like, 
hmm, maybe it's working better now. Yeah. Maybe I'll spend another three dollars. Maybe I'll splurge. <laughs> yeah, ninety nine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, it's hilarious. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't uh, you know, it ends up being a thing. I don't know. It's it's Instagram is tricky in that way because it, it goes back to like we as artists want our stuff to be seen, and there is like a level of success that can come from having a large following yeah and you know mm -hmm. for the most part artists would like to do this and you know yeah have, of course do this as your full-time job and make a good you know amount of money a year and yeah. that kind of seems to be a pathway to achieving that yeah. but th th it, there's like a weird like i don't know stigma or something to like buying advertisement i don't know or something yeah. like mm. that hmm. i don't know it's weird but it is weird but at the same time who cares if you're successful and rolling in dough <laughs> <laughs> yeah advertising kind of <laughs> weird that way where it, you ha you don't really see the results like it's not like a spend this much money and get this out of it it's more of a right. thing it's just building awareness of your brand your or brand, whatever yeah. yeah 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 but i don't know even I, I, oh, I, I, the like awareness of brand free, like <laughs> saying, I always like, I'm like I know oh, the word brand. That's yeah. why I said it's like yeah. awareness. And of it's kind of like that stigma of like advertisement. <laughs> it's like yeah. all of that, all that is like a whole, it's like this weird, like you don't want that, you know, <laughs> it, it, it's always interesting when you see like musicians, like, you know, like odd future, or mm -hmm. like that group or whatever, yeah. where they're like huge successes, but they also kind of portray themselves of like the anti establishment type yeah. deal. A lot of people do. Mm -hmm. And it, it's like, that's their brand and it mm -hmm. works really well. But right. at the same time, there's this big, you know, machine behind them trying to promote the hell out of them and probably buying a lot of advertisement and a lot of like, random you know social media type mm -hmm. hype in yeah. a weird way yeah. um to get them to where they are so it's it's i don't know it's it's weird it's yeah. a game i'm not very good at playing i mean mm -hmm. yeah i think if you're making any kind of money you know doing any kind of thing creative i mean you really are i don't say restricted but i don't feel like there's anybody out there that's just like killing it with their own thing mm -hmm. and getting funded you know like it's just I don't. Hmm. You don't really see that that often. I don't think. Yeah, I can't think of anyone off the top of my head at least. Yeah, neither can I. Maybe, um, like James Jean. He seems like he's dipping a toe into it. Like yeah, it, yeah. With like a uh, with clothing brand, is it like Versace or something? <laughs> something like yeah, it's, yeah. It's something one of the expensive. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I I love his work. Yeah, you know, his stuff is amazing. It is interesting to see his journey. You know, mm -hmm. like, um, he actually came to San Jose State and I didn't know who he was. I didn't actually see the, the talk or anything. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And then, like, was that a long time ago? Yeah, that was like 2005. I yeah, think. I want to say mm -hmm. I heard about that when I was in school, too. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, I never, I didn't know anything about him. And, uh, mm -hmm. Like, I was like, oh, how was the thing? He's like, oh, he's really quiet. Like, he didn't talk much. And <laughs> two years later, I found his work or discovered it. And I was like, oh, my God, this guy's great. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. But it is crazy to see, like, a person that really just kind of evolves into this thing. And yeah. you know, like, uh, we we're talking earlier about the the business aspect. Mm -hmm. like, he's got a good a good thing, you know? Yeah, for like, sure. I don't know if he oh, yeah. gets a lot of help or not, but I don't it's know. pretty cool to get, you know, the books and the prints and the he also like seems to surround himself with like other artists who are just like you know like david cho and yeah yeah oh uh, what's that one guy like mirika yeah was it takashi murakami i, I think that's oh, what yeah, it is yeah. yeah 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 that guy's got some crazy work yeah. yeah those guys are just like super successful artists right I'm sure yeah. it's a whole other he level. gets to yeah. like absorb <laughs> you know whatever kind of knowledge they get yeah have. exactly yeah i think yeah that takashi guy is definitely a marketing machine I oh think. yeah for sure mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah he's the, with the flowers the petals uh -huh. and the, yeah. yeah such a trip yeah it's, yeah. it's cool stuff mm -hmm. it is funny though because there's people out there that are so masterful at their work like mm -hmm. uh, phil hale or something mm -hmm. and they're so like i won't say underrated but like they're just not they're not booming like in that <laughs> that that radar type thing you know and it's like god this guy's work is amazing you mm -hmm. know but it's He's not like I think like James Jean. Those guys like have like some kind of branding like that thing. Right. Yeah. About, yeah. It's like not like lunch boxes or anything, <laughs> you know. But it's like there's definitely this like thing of interest of like people purchasing and 
yeah. you know, globbing onto hmm. type thing. Yeah. 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 And he does a lot of, like, a lot of, like, the random things he, like, he does a lot of, like, for James Jean, there's, like, these little things he does for, like, branding that is so, like, well done. You yeah. know, like, he embosses his, his, like, paper himself or whatever. Right. And right. it's, like, done so nicely. And you're like, wow, that's, like... <laughs> great like that's yeah such a exactly yeah. good touch mm -hmm. it is cool man. Uh, yeah, I, I have quite a few of his prints they're all beautiful so, yeah. <laughs> nice yeah. yeah it's like all these like little details for branding mm -hmm. reasons but also like not taking away from the it's artwork or like voice. making yeah and it's still handmade and how he's doing it it's like yeah it's like this interesting really well done thing you're like all right yeah you, you're putting some thought to it to it you know yeah, his, his work is pretty amazing it's nice too to see somebody that like i don't like all of his work mm -hmm. you know? like some people are like oh anything he does it's like it's awesome it's like yeah, yeah. not really you know it's like but that's okay like you're human you know yeah. It's like, yeah you're like you're exploring like and i love the fact that like someone's exploring and really just like going there mm -hmm. for sure finding out now, obviously like his like style is his own you know yeah but, like he's also gone off the rails off <laughs> And not commercial stuff and done like right. the fine art thing. And yeah. Like, mm -hmm. it's, yeah it's, it's cool. It's cool to see somebody just do that, you know? Yeah. I know. For me, this fine art stuff is like my favorite stuff. Yeah. And I've heard him talk about it where he's like, oh, yeah, people, it doesn't do that well. And I'm like, really? It's weird, really? I would think people would just eat it up. Yeah. You I mean, they're expensive. So, yeah. He right. did an interview with, I forget who, and he was like, he had a bunch of paintings in his studio that didn't sell. And I'm like, wow. What? Well, like, I mean, they're they're expensive. Yeah, yeah. but I'm I'm yeah. sure there's somebody out there that's got you know Silicon Valley money that will hmm. buy one. But I mean, they were also like the paintings that I like the most. You know, it's like really? the stuff I like the most that he does is kind of like this this like mixture of like lightheartedness and darkness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I was then, gonna ask you if it was like the darker ones. Yeah, it's the darker see, ones. Those are stuff I love too, but I could see that maybe not being as commercially viable to some people. Yeah, some yeah. people freak out. I remember. <laughs> He had a blog on his website, and uh, I used to see it all the time when I was a student. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, this stuff's great. And there's people like, you know, you'd actually explain the process. And that's oh, kind yeah. of like my go-to thing when <laughs> I was younger because mm -hmm. it was like uh, a channel, you know, almost like you get to see like how he did certain things. Mm -hmm. Right. It's like, oh, cool. Mm -hmm. I remember he did, um, what was it, the painting uh, called Consumption, I think. Okay. It's the one with the, the baby being fed something and some kind of like spiral of colors and things right know. anyhow i guess all these people started throwing all these negative comments oh really yeah and I remember that really? i remember specifically like watching the people just well it's like hate you know that's so weird and i'm like god like okay a like there's you've made it that's 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 we you know you made it when people <laughs> yeah. start talking mad shit about your work <laughs> yeah. like oh cool you know, that's cool you know but when people like really like hate it you know that's when you know you've actually like broken through the exactly the, the glass ceiling or whatever uh -huh. <laughs> um but i remember him having to like cancel out the blog because it was getting like poisonous Jeez, you know? wow. yeah but it's a trip right because you think about you know your work and it's like you're creating it it's, you did it you know it's whatever you wanted to do but someone's got to say something about it and you know be all you know angry right. about it and be like oh this is stupid this is vapid and it's like good god dude <laughs> yeah chill, wow. chill out <laughs> yeah i mean yeah. i've only gotten a very little bit of like kind of like subtle hatred yeah you know, on my instagram oh yeah oh know? yeah like backhanded compliments or like you know those kind of things oh yeah and i've always those it's like this weird thing that happens where like you most like ninety nine percent of the time your people are complimenting you, and the one person who's like, you know, Stupid. yeah, Scary. it's like the one thing that always sticks with you. You're always like, yeah, like oh, what's God. your problem, man? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know. Uh, I've had a handful of those. But. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, any hate that I've gotten, it's not on my own channels. It's usually when it's spread to somewhere like Reddit or DeviantArt or YouTube or something like that. Does anybody have a problem with like the nudity aspect of your work? Or <laughs> Well, I just went through this thing with the gallery recently um, that I brought a painting to the gallery that people just were not into. But it was more of a thing. It just wasn't the right painting for that specific gallery. Mm. So but, on Reddit, what's the issue? Oh, uh, it's been a while, so I don't remember exactly what it was, but there were some uh, people having problems with a, a man 
painting a, a nude woman in oh. this day and age, that sort of thing. I'm sorry for that comment. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, we can't all draw dicks. <laughs> and leave them around <laughs> certain yeah. areas for people to pick up. Yeah, leave them in elementary schools. This gift, <laughs> this gift is for you. Uh, I didn't even think of a early Christmas present. I never really thought about the fact that it was in elementary <laughs> yeah. school. Was, like, <laughs> was that from elementary school? Well, we were getting drunk in an elementary That's school. That's funny. So, and I didn't even take the drawing. I was like, Ugh, what am I going to do with this drawing? I don't want this one. That's funny. <laughs> you want to check to see if you're on a sex offender list? Yeah. <laughs> you know, one of those apps, just like, yeah. it's just red. <laughs> it's all, yeah. It's, yeah, it's you know, I'm house. a red dot. And then you click on it, and it's like, penis drawer. Yeah, he's that guy. <laughs> uh, uh, you haven't seen any kids trick or treating. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder why they never come knock on my door. <laughs> Because uh, I usually I'm like here's a drawing for you. <laughs> He's the dick drawer. Don't, don't knock on his door. Uh, sorry to offend. Right of you putting um, drawings in their candy instead of needles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Uh, well, Reddit's kind of like a place that, yeah, it's it's kind of a place where hate is. You know, it's like YouTube almost. Yeah, like exactly. You, gonna, you should probably expect it if you're Instagram's yeah, exactly. like the nice friendly zone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Know, everyone's Friends. pretty polite. Yeah. I, I think a big part of that is just like the people that comment on your stuff are also like presenting themselves, you know? <laughs> yeah. Mm, it's that's not, a good point. It's not too anonymous. Mm -hmm. Reddit and YouTube are kind of these like two anonymous places where you are free to like say whatever you want without any repercussions in mm -hmm. a weird way. Yeah. And so you get to be an asshole. And right. I, yeah. But Instagram is a loving place. Just be, you know, I, it, I will say there's people like on like live channels and stuff. Like whenever you put up something like live, uh -huh. like Kim Jong-E, like he'll be drawing uh -huh. and there'll be some 12 year old kid. That's like, fuck you. Oh. And I was like, Oh my God. Like, and like, you know, who is this person? <laughs> and you click on it. It's like, I'm 12. I'm like, Oh, do uh, some homework, bro. Like, <laughs> just, huh. like, it's just people that are just like, you know, I don't know how they find them. I mean, I guess it's a algorithm thing, but you know, yeah, maybe, yeah, they just find them and they start oh, just probably those chirp, like suggested out. for you. So yeah. Your channel, yeah. <laughs> Something I'm not interested well, in at all, but they, I come on in Instagram. And, if you do lives, I think they have like the top, I don't know if they still have them, but they used to have, maybe they have them still. They, they had this top, like top lives at like the top uh, nine live. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. Instagram live. So, hmm. If you had like a thousand viewers, then you probably were on that thing. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay. So he probably hit that. And then okay. from there. Then all the trolls came yeah. out of the bridge. Yeah. The bridge. <laughs> Let's spew some hate. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. 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 You can't get away from it. I was, okay. I was like on the, I would go to that, 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 uh, top, like the top nine lives or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, feeds at the, on Instagram and like, kind of like look at them just to get like an idea of what was successful in Instagram. Yeah. And it was so weird because if there was like a lady, like any, anyone that was like a woman was, <laughs> uh, you know, she could be oh, anybody. Uh, yeah. She could just <laughs> literally have everything <laughs> covered except for her face. Uh, and, and there was this weird comment where people would always write open they would just constantly yeah, write seen open. that. And then you're like, like, okay. Uh, uh huh. And then open <laughs> this one lady would just, <laughs> I remember this one lady was doing live and she's like, please stop saying open. And it was like this, I think it was like a like language barrier thing where like, it was like the open is the equivalent of like saying like, take it off or something. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. That's, I've seen that uh, before. I was like, what? And so they're probably like Google translating something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, How funny. Uh, open, but yeah, I don't know. Just a random <laughs> fun fact of the yeah. day. Yeah. <laughs> fun fact seventy two. <laughs> don't write open. Uh, we should probably go into this painting. Yeah. Uh, sure. Do you uh, ever Instagram live? By the way, I do. Uh, depends. So like, <clears throat> I find myself like I'll do it like kind of like late at night. Yeah. Because usually I have to like talk to somebody and my wife be like, who are you talking to? And that's like <laughs> yeah. a whole thing. And like right. my son going to bed and the whole thing. Mm -hmm. I, I've done it a few times. It is because it's weird because it does, if, I don't say it puts you on the spot, but you're definitely mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. you're performing. So yeah, it's yeah. weird. You, you're kind of performing in a way, at least for me. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like, okay. And then for me, like talk about that stream of conscious thing. It's like, mm, right. I have the same thing in mind where I'm doing the live thing. I'm not, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not like showing you like a, 
a finished mm-hmm. sketch and then drawing on top of it. Like right. I'm going right. straight from white paper. Mm-hmm. So it's like, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder you know? if there's an advantage yeah. there though. Cause if you're thinking about what you're saying, your, your mind maybe isn't so much on the drawing. Yeah. Well, it's funny how some people like, uh, there's a guy I follow named uh, Matt Bailey. It's mm-hmm. like, he's really killer, uh, like tattoo type uh, okay. ink drawings. Mm-hmm. And his work is fantastic. But everybody asks him the same question like, mm. over and over, like, what kind of pen do you use? So he'll write oh, what that. pen he uses. Oh, like, he in just the writes beginning. it down. He writes yeah. it on the drawing, <laughs> and then he fills it in with black. <laughs> and then he'll, like, say, like, I'm not coming to your town, like, and all this stuff. <laughs> but he, he's able to answer all the questions that are thrown his way, basically. And there's mm. just literally hundreds of questions. Jeez. And he's just, like, as he's drawing, and he's just like, yep, yep, yep. And he's like, <laughs> yeah, I can't do that. Uh, yeah, it's cool. That's crazy. Yeah, and I'm like, I couldn't imagine... And it's funny because I feel like it's a weird thing where you're on live and it's like, if you're trying to draw, your focus should be on the drawing. It shouldn't be like right. looking at the screen and, I know. oh, it's like, hey, hey, Greg, you know, because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know? yeah. it really is like a performance thing. Like you're trying to like, you know, I mean, some people just put it on to put it on and it's like, look what I do. Mm-hmm. But I think it'd be cool. Yeah. But yeah, when I, when I find, when I do it, it, I don't get like a ton of people to watch. Like <laughs> yeah. it's not, it's like 10, 10 people, yeah. <laughs> which is great. I mean, it's. Thank you for all 10 people watching. <laughs> but I don't know. For me, it's like, I'd rather just do the um, the videos, like the the time-lapse ones. Oh, sure. Yeah. Then I add music whenever, mm-hmm. whenever I can. Yeah. But since Instagram's decided to shut all that off, I have to find oh, right. really obscure music <laughs> yeah. or like music that has no uh, lyrics in it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, such a pain. They, they yeah. shut off all music? So you can't. Here's use thing. copyrighted so, stuff yeah so right. if you're uh, let's say like you're at a like you're in your room and you're trying, mm-hmm. like the beatles are playing or something the instagram hears it and they go shut it off oh so really they'll shut you mm-hmm. off on your yeah, live feed it's happened to me once yeah. yeah and i used to i used to use songs for my if my, you're my listening to music yeah mm-hmm. so it actually catches on uh, yeah what? so if you're listening to some like royalty free like Such classical garbage. music yeah. you know or something like you know then you're fine but if you're listening to something that's like popular or it's got you know some know. hits or whatever yeah. some i don't know yeah it's weird i've never again i don't do much in, like live but from what i hear i was like oh, i kind of want to deal with that uh, i want to like let's kind of turn a, my music off because you know this is pretty annoying pain. yeah even no. with like, the time lapse stuff like it's like you can't do that that belongs to you know right. Slayer. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> mm. like, but oh. you know, like the, <laughs> the Instagram idea is kind of to have like a photo album <clears throat> online, right? It is, and yeah. kind of having video is like the equivalent to like Christmas videos with family, you know? Yeah, and so. It's like this weird, that's like Instagram is called Instagram because it's supposed to be like instant, like in the moment. Yeah. And the more you have to curate to like, oh, I can't have music on. I can't. It just kind of defeats the the original idea of what it was supposed Mm. to be to begin with. And once it was bought by Facebook, you know. All bets were off. Yeah. yeah. I hear they're supposed to fire Zuckerberg. Really? <laughs> Are they really? Well, well, they're pushing for it, so. Huh. Did he do like a Elon Musk, <laughs> like a smoking weed <laughs> move or something on him? <laughs> um, I think he's just, they're just sick of a robot kind of being the uh, boss. Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> a robot alien man. <laughs> yeah. He's an interesting fellow. He's so weird. Dude, yeah. uh, have, you ever, have you guys ever been to Facebook before? No. Uh, no, I've driven uh, by it plenty of times. Yeah. So <laughs> I have a friend, I have a friend who used to or she still works there and uh she's like you want to come to lunch and i was like yeah she's like yeah come on over and i'm like okay cool so i find try to find parking and there's like no parking and i'm like what the hell like it's lunchtime people should be over at chevy's or <laughs> wherever right and i finally found a parking spot i'm like why isn't anybody gone I'm like where where's everybody they're like oh you'll you'll find out and it's like blah 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 so i'm like oh whatever so i sign in so i come to the door and she like pushes the doors open and it looks like a, almost like Disney's Main Street, but without the cartoony aspect. It's like oh, literally weird. like a downtown. What the hell? It's a downtown thing. Literally in the middle of Facebook. <laughs> and you're like, what? And she's like, yeah, what do you want to eat? And I'm like, um, uh, I don't know. And she's like, wherever. It's free. Like, grab whatever you want. And so there's literally just, you grab whatever you want. And like, you eat food and you eat it. She's like, you want some ice cream? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> she's like, come to the ice cream parlor. And there's literally people dressed in like. You know the coverall, yeah, yeah, things, mm-hmm. and they got the whole like you know scoop thing and like the sprinkles and 
you go into an ice cream parlor and you eat ice cream. You're like, okay, <laughs> this is weird. And then she's like, you want to walk around? And I'm like, yeah, cool. And then she's like, there's Mark Zuckerberg's cute, uh, uh, office and it's literally all glass. <laughs> hmm. So it's like a building. And then like where the corners meet, it's like this like 12 foot high by 12 foot wide or 15 or whatever. It's just all glass. It's like a glass cube. Hmm. That's his office. That's wow. Weird. Yeah. And she's like, sometimes you'll see Kanye West or Hillary Clinton hanging out. And I'm like, what? <laughs> well, that'd I'm be like, Kanye West and Donald Trump. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. It's Hang just on. like, it's crazy. Cause like, and then like they had, other, they had their own printing press. Hmm. Like that's someone's job to like, just that's where I work. I work in the printing press at Facebook. So they make Doing the posters, what? they make the posters oh, okay. for Facebook. For Facebook. Just, just to have. Like to have on campus? Yeah. Just to have like, posters. Huh. So there's like a graphic designer who like, you know. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's like coming to, you know, aisle eight <laughs> or something, <laughs> whatever. And it's just weird. It was a strange place. And that was the, that was the first building or not the first, but the, the, not the one in Palo Alto, but the, Menlo. Oh, the other one, the Menlo Park one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was a trip. But they actually like would hire artists and stuff, and um, you know, pay them like a nice, nice sum of money to like do hmm. like a like a residence thing, mm -hmm. and they would paint on the walls and stuff. It's yeah, like, David, how do I get that gig? David Cho. That's how he got yeah. his money. Yeah, I, re I remember when they had the first, like the first Facebook buildings were in Palo Alto. Yeah, like downtown Palo yeah. Alto. Yeah. And I remember uh, I was like walking down the street and because I worked in downtown Palo Alto. Yeah. And I saw like something that looked like David Cho's work. Mm -hmm. This is like. Oh. It's unmistakable. <laughs> yeah. And this is before David Cho was like Big. really rich. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was like, how come like his, this looks like his stuff. Like I think someone's copying him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, and I was like, what is this building? And uh, this is kind of like. Pretty early Facebook time, like maybe like 2006 or something like that. Yeah, and I was like, oh, I don't know what's going on. Like, just because Paul Walter was very much not graffiti based, yeah, so it was clean. like, yeah, yeah, and you, you could, it was like a stairway to Facebook, <laughs> is what I was seeing his work on. It was like, and it was like a glass door. I couldn't go in, but I could. Yeah. I was like just looking inside. Like, what is? This? What is? <laughs> it? I thought it was like an art gallery, and I was yeah. like, so I was like, oh, I should like check this place out. Hopefully, like their gallery and yeah. I could show there. <laughs> and I found out like a little bit later, like no. Gallery FB. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so. There was a great video of him or David Cho talking to the Napster guy. Like, oh. The curly uh -huh. hair, Justin Timberlake, whatever yeah. dude. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, he's like, I, I guess the, that, the Napster guy is like, you need to like repaint certain things because it's really like, it's like, it's not, it's not pleasing to the eye or something. Mm -hmm. He said something to that effect and he's like, I'm done. <laughs> Right. Like, we're done. Yeah. Like I'm not painting anymore. And he's like, <laughs> mm -hmm. he's like, excuse me. He's like, yeah, no, we're 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 done with this. Like, I'm done with the, the paintings. I'm not going to change a thing. And that's that's David Show for you right there. It's right, like just right. like you know, not giving a shit. Exactly. This is great though because he's just like, yeah, I'll, I'll take the stock. You know, I'll you know see what happens. I don't really <laughs> care. He's on a great uh, interview with uh, Howard Stern about that. And oh, the is whole he? Uh, thing. Yeah. If you ever get a chance to listen to it. Yeah, um, he's an entertaining guy to listen. He to. is <laughs> actually. There's a thing with him and David Chang, um, a really cool podcast. They talk about like um, it came out like yeah, a month or so. Yeah, yeah, uh, was that was a, really it was good. A while ago, I think was that the thing where you talked about like him being like it's like start when you're like 20 to like really just like hustle hard. Mm -hmm. Oh, hard. I think I think you sent it like like years ago. Oh, that's back when he was doing his podcast. Yeah, his DVD say But yeah. no, um, David Chang has a podcast now, oh, okay. and David Cho was on it recently, mm. and he just talked a lot about like how he's changed as a person recently, like yeah. all the shit they had to go through and why he had to stop the doing the, the podcast. And oh, all that. really? Yeah. It was, it was a good listen. It was mm. pretty long. It's like two and a half hours, but it was a good, it's fun. That's cool. Mm -hmm. James yeah. Jean just did Stevie Weeby's podcast. Oh yeah. I got to <laughs> check that out. Is that cool? <laughs> yeah. Stevie Weeby is, uh, is uh, Bobby, Bobby Lee's, Lee's brother? brother. Yeah. Oh God, <laughs> he's such a like interesting he's, character. Yeah. He's so funny. Is he as like funny as Bobby Lee? Or he's like his? I don't know. He's just a he's funny in a different way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's just so like intense emotionally. Oh God. Yeah. but it's uh, it's like all positive in a weird oh, way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but him and James Dean, it's such a good. It's it's a good episode. Oh, I cool. gotta check that out. Uh, it out. Very. Yeah. It's like a it's like a fifth grade art 
kid talking to like James <laughs> Jean. <laughs> yeah. He's like, you know who I am, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, they're like friends. He's like, so right. you bust out the crayons. But he's like, dude, what? What do you? How do you paint? <laughs> it's like things like that. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember the Chris Farley uh, skit on SNL? Where he's exactly, talking like Paul yeah. McCartney. He's like, yeah. remember when he said, "You give and take, and the love you make." <laughs> he's like, yeah. He's that. like, that was cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> just like, he's like, like I'm so is stupid. that true? Yeah, is that, is that true? And it's like, he's like, yeah, it is. He's like, yeah. I just feel so stupid talking to you. And he's like, yeah. It's like, it's okay, it's okay. And he's like, yeah, I just, I just come beat myself up. You know? yeah. <laughs> it's just such a good thing. It's like, good lord. Uh, so he's like interviewing a master, you know? <laughs> right. That's too funny. Uh, but yeah. yeah uh, sorry. So let's oh. let's talk about this doodle you did. <laughs> <laughs> My doodle. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, this was actually for a show oh. uh, in Singapore of all oh, things. Oh really? Oh wow. Yeah. So I the the book we were talking earlier about perfect sketchbook, uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we we're talking about sketchbooks being intimidating. Definitely an intimidating sketchbook because it's made like out of like the best paper yeah, for like watercolor. Fabriano 300 Fabri yeah. pounds. It's made by an Italian man. Yeah. Lived in right. <laughs> Watercolorville or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, yeah. it's a beautiful, beautiful The binding sketchbook. is like yeah. made from like a hippie's pony. Tail. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many kids died to, <laughs> yeah. to make this, uh, yeah. this is rhino lots. leather. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And what's cool is like you got your name on it and stuff. Uh, the, oh, guy, really? the guy oh. that actually made it, uh, this guy named Irwin, uh -huh. super cool guy. Uh, shout out to Irwin. Um, and so I bought some books from him, and we started just kind of shooting the shit. And he's like, "Hey, like if I ever do uh, like a gallery thing, I was thinking about because the moleskin thing was happening. Mm -hmm. He's like, I'd love to do something with." Uh, the, fun, the perfect sketchbook because I'm kind of done with it and I was like oh cool um, yeah like sign me up and that was like two years ago or something mm -hmm. and all of a sudden he's like hey I, I found some artists that are willing to get on board are you still on board and I'm like yeah yeah any, anytime and uh, so he got um, James Gurney and uh, nice. Nathan Folks uh, awesome another guy uh, Justin Pistorius I think oh know, sure yeah I know he Justin. was on there and there's a few others that are really good just you know awesome awesome people and then he gave me mine and uh, it's cool because like he he likes my work but i'm not like those guys you know like with the the content you know mm. like james gurney he's got a very like you know a beautiful like wash color you know watercolor and right you know, very much just like yeah, street rendering. scenes or you yeah, know just everyday beautiful. scenes so it was funny because <laughs> i had to kind of i had the book sent to me and i was just like what do i do because like you know it's kind of <laughs> it's weird because you think about the whole thing being like a cohesive you know, like everything like looks like a certain way. And mm -hmm. I was just like, well, and I talked to my wife and she's like, just do what you do. Like, yeah. don't worry mm -hmm. about, you know, I was like, all right, cool. Some good advice. Yeah. yeah. And that's uh, anybody who has a significant other who's got an eye. That's always a helpful thing when someone can tell you to stop. My but, wife, um, my wife has two eyes. No that's good. Deal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A pirate no, for no, a wife. Humble, <laughs> humble brag. <laughs> <laughs> you got to stop the drawing. So she actually helped me with this one. Cause like I was drawing and I was like, oh, tinker with a little bit here. And, um, I, like, again, it's that whole stream of conscious thing where I started just to make the work. I, I kind of had an idea, but not really. Like I was just like, uh -huh. well, like I, I have an idea, and then I just started making the marks and then letting it kind of happen. Mm -hmm. So I first started with, um, I think it's chest area, mm. and yeah, kind of like where the the shoulder meets. I just started putting down red, mm -hmm. just start laying down red, big old graphic shapes, hmm. and then I just started finding this guy in it. And um, so you knew you wanted like a center figure. Yeah, I was. I knew it was going to be like something like what i've drawn before with like something on the head that like we talked about mm -hmm. earlier but um you know something that's kind of like kind of dark it's got a kind of a i don't say creepy yet you know whimsical vibe i knew that i was gonna mm -hmm. be doing something like that mm -hmm. but it was just like okay where do i go with this and uh i started just drawing it and i would just chip away at it for like days and days and uh it is it's cool to see yeah, it's yeah. a cool piece. It, it, I know. I'm I'm super happy with it. The one thing that sucked though is I think it was out in the sun or something. Oh, something no. happened, and all the very like subtle stuff in the like the top left and right, uh -huh. like, you can't see it anymore. Like it's like I could see it a little bit. Yeah, like, these like blue lines, blue uh -huh. lines, blue and all these like hatch marks. Right, all that stuff is like gone. And I'm like, whoa, oh, wow. like, what happened? <laughs> I was like, oh my god. Is it from uh, like a color pencil? Like a no. Like a... So nothing. No, no, there was no pencil involved. So it was all brush pens oh and oh, wow. then a little bit of um like white gel pen okay, and I, okay. oh yeah, sorry i'll take that back there's um 
like all the kind of squiggly lines in the bottom left and right mm -hmm. um, are all done with like high tech C pen. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So that was like the real fine stuff. But any of the stuff that's like kind of broad, um, there's high tech C within the guy too. Like, mm -hmm. the, like the real, like the real like fine uh, hatch marks. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, but they're like the, the big like dark blues and reds. Those are all brush pens and like water. Like so water like, brush. Like the, 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 the like kind of like monster thing on top of like the skull yeah. head yeah it, you we said earlier it kind of reminds me of like the chinese like yeah. new year's yeah. dragon was that like were you re referencing that or did it just kind of come out that way it just kind of came out that way so hmm. i once i started making the chest and i started finding this kind of form i was like uh -huh. okay cool and then i i made the shoulder and then i found the i found the arm like those things started to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, I knew I was going to do something with a head. I just didn't know what. And mm -hmm. then I started just the skull was completely the last, the last thing that to be made, which is, I, I, was, I was just staring at it. I'm like, what, what do I put in for the head? Like, I don't right. know. So I started just making the, the, the top of the helmet type thing. And mm -hmm. yeah. So like I left enough like negative space. And that's another thing I try to do is I kind of like, uh, Ian McCaig, who I love, he, mm -hmm. he does a thing where he'll he'll draw like one part and then another part, and then he kind of thinks of it like emerging from foam kind of thing. Where it's like, hmm. so if you like, if you were to draw like a horse's like um, nose mm -hmm. and his cheek, right, and you left everything out, or maybe like you draw like the ear, you can kind of like your eyeball can kind of figure out the rest of it, right? You know, like it's kind of like emerging out of like a dream, you know. Uh -huh. hmm. And so I was trying to do that kind of like with this. I would try to draw certain things, and then I started to find like more layers of, you know, like stuff and texture and uh, you know, like line work. And then the the skull came last. That was the last thing that I pretty much did. Hmm. And then that was it. And I was like, okay, don't overcook a chicken. You know, just <laughs> yeah, leave it, yeah. leave it yeah. be. And that was then, one of the questions I had kind yeah. of. Yeah. It's just with your process being what it is, yeah. is how do you kind of like, be, how do you say like, all right, this is done. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I try not to overcook it. I think the thing is with my wife, when we went to art school, like she's, she doesn't do art per se, but she's drawn and she's painted and, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and she, she helps me with certain, like if it's like a certain piece, like that's like going to be in a gallery or something. Mm -hmm. If I'm like overcooking it, she'll be like, stop, stop it. Like, it's fine. Right. And mm -hmm. like a part of you goes like, no, I like, look at that. Like, it has to be done. She's like, no, it doesn't. Like, it looks <laughs> good as is. And that's, that for me is my favorite type of stuff. It's the stuff that's not done to like the hilt, like mm -hmm. rendered, you know, insanely. Right. It's the stuff that feels kind of like a uh, raw and like, kind of like lively. And it's got, mm -hmm. you know, it does not, it doesn't always have to be red, like on everything, like leave parts that are, you know, for sure. Um, open to interpretation or whatever. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I'm super stoked the way it came out, and um, it was funny because I remember, <laughs> I remember turning it in, and he's like, "This is beautiful." He's like, "He's like, we, we've seen a lot of people that are like eyeballing it, and they're like, this is amazing, but they don't know what the fuck to do." <laughs> <laughs> they're just like, mm. they see all this other artwork that's like, you know, palm trees, and, right? Mm. You know, it's like it just kind of like stood out, and um, yeah. you know, there's people that were interested in buying it, but nobody did. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I'm okay with it. You know, it just. Uh, I just made it and, you know, it's again, it's that whole thing of just kind of just turning your mind off and not thinking too much. Like, obviously mm -hmm. don't just, you know, go off the rails, <clears> but like, try not to think, you know, mm -hmm. too much. The whole like dreaming on paper thing. I, I always want to get to that point. Yeah. I've had a few instances where I've really like lost myself mm -hmm. in like paper, but not a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you ever, ever felt that something like that happen. But like, uh, I've had some times where I've drawn something and like, literally like my mind goes into another place and then mm -hmm. I'll draw like a curve and I can feel the curve. Huh. Yeah. Mm. But that's only happened like a few times in my life where it's yeah. literally just like, I've sensed this like other feeling I'm like, oh my God, that feels like I'm actually drawing on like a different surface, you know, huh. but that doesn't happen that often. And like, so when the mushrooms wore off, was it? I know. <laughs> so, uh, it's the residue. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I don't take drugs, so <laughs> some people ask me that. Where do your ideas come from? I'm like, well, uh, <laughs> I know. No, I know. It's just you know what it really is. Just just drawing a lot, mm. and just putting the miles in, and then basically like just not overthinking it. Mm. For me, it's like 
if I were to sit there and go like, I'm going to draw like a deity that's got a, you know, this like dragon head and it's got like a weird, you know, claw thing for a arm. Mm-hmm. If I start putting those things in my mind, I'm kind of killing it. Like not mm-hmm. in a good way. Like it's like, it's not, it's going to get stiff, you know, but right. if I just kind of take the journey and I go, okay, cool. Like, hmm. let's just see where the things fall. And if it messes up, then you can always paint over it or whatever. Yeah. But the, the thing with ink is like ink's commitment. Like it's one of those things where you, right. just, you have to commit. And like, I think a lot of people are afraid of ink because there's that thing of like, once I make a mark, like it's done, you know? And that's why like my teacher at the time, thank God, like he was just like, stop feathering, like stop sitting there licking the, the paper, like just mm-hmm. go be bold, go for it, you know? Mm-hmm. And I remember using that, you know, Office Max Uniball pen for like a summer and I was like, God, this thing sucks. Like, I hated it. I hated it. Because, like, every mark I made was just gnarly. There wasn't anything to it. There was no, like, line weight or anything. It was just like, clunk, clunk, clunk. Right. And you're just like, ugh. Mm-hmm. You know? But you just, like, lived with it, you know? I, I, I have stacks of, like, horrible drawings, you know, <laughs> to get to anything good. And once I got to, right. like, the brush pen stuff, it was like, you know, ooh, cool. Like, <laughs> you can kind of just block things in. You know, sit there and, you know, yeah. you know for hours. Yeah. and yeah. That's what I like about it, too. Yeah. 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 Like one of the yeah that's one of the good things but at the same time it's one of the things i'm like because for me one of my favorite things is like literally just kind of like being stuck in the process for a long time and brush yeah. pen is such a quick medium like for me it is. it's quick and dirty i'm like oh that like i can do like 10 pages you know <laughs> in like one sitting and then i'm like yeah but for me it's like i just kind of like being in that like weird like work on this little detail forever yeah. <laughs> well i think too because you guys are both oil painters right mm-hmm. traditionally like yeah i not why well, i started kind of recently like three years two years okay. one year somewhere <laughs> it all blurs <laughs> yeah i was looking at my instagram i think i started picking up oil paint like three years ago i was like let me try this i was like oh it's <laughs> funny how instagram becomes like your uh like your go-to for like what you did. Yeah. It's like, mm-hmm. Oh yeah. I did that it's four calendar. years ago. Yeah. 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 Cause I, like I look back at drawings and I'm like, Oh my God, like what was I doing? Cause yeah. there are certain drawings that I've done where it's like, there's like a moment in time type mm-hmm. thing where it's like, like I remember those days. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. One of the things I've noticed is like, Oh, I barely make any paintings here. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, Cause I like to look yeah, at something true, like, huh? Oh, like, this painting I did this year, and I look at the date, and it's like 2017. I'm like, that was yeah. last year. Yeah. <laughs> so it happens when Great. you take a summer off. <laughs> uh, it's gotta take a quick. Oh, so, oh, yeah. Hmm. Um, do you want to do a quick break? Hmm. Oh, okay, so one second. Okay. Here, I'll do. You want me to do a clap? <laughs> no, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> okay. I'll just see the, the lack of <laughs> sorry sound waves. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my wife's picking me up, so oh, okay, uh, for sure. Cool. Going to a kid party. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah um, <clears throat> so when you're, um, you basically like pull from your subconscious to kind yeah. of get your ideas from. Do you feel like you're pulling from anywhere in particular? Like, are there things that that influence you oh, at all like, when you're doing that like artists or i guess so or even yeah wherever you get inspiration from i guess um yes and no like w- i try not to look at artists too much because mm-hmm. i feel like there's been times like even like the james gene thing like i really like love his work and yeah and i bought the the pen and the whole thing like, <laughs> yeah. oh my god you know but i feel like you know there's so many people doing that but also that's how you grow right um yeah for me i i kind of turn that off and i just kind of just let it happen like whatever i do in my sketchbook like i don't because I, I try not to be influenced too much because like people mm-hmm. will say like oh, it looks like mobius and it's like i love mobius but mm-hmm. i don't i don't look at mobius and go like right oh how did he do that you know right because it's yeah. so easy to fall into that pitfall of uh you know like how how to does somebody do that or mm-hmm. how does that line work you know I right. feel like it just, it's a growth thing like for instance like on this one it kind of in a weird way reminds me of like a coral reef yeah you know like hmm. i don't know if you got any influence from coral reefs but it just has that like <laughs> weird like uh chaotic yeah like uh, anemones feel, on the yeah, bottom there yeah I, I think there's definitely some things that like i've even like the arm kind of reminds me of like a crab arm and like you can <laughs> almost see the thing as like a f- like the thing on the the helmet is like a fish like thing yeah hmm. you know so it's like all these like 
Well, I, I definitely feel like once I started making some of the work, then there is definitely that where it's like, oh, like this looks like this, mm. you know, and all mm -hmm. of a sudden it's like, okay, then that can look like that. And all of a sudden they start to connect, you know, right, right. Mm. like it's like a building blocks. But oh. I, I never try to overthink it and go like, oh, this is from, um, you know, like a Thailand or, you know, mm -hmm. this is like right, a right. Polynesian, you know, dragon or something. Right. Um, like Polynesian. It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. I, I, I try not to think about that stuff too much because I'd rather just make the work and kind of make it almost like effortless because I don't want to. I don't want to overthink it because once you start to overthink it, then it just goes, it gets really tight, you know, mm. for sure. Yeah. And I just want to try to keep it as lively as possible, you know. That's cool though. Yeah. 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 It's funny because I mean, I wish there was a way I can just be like, oh, like I was thinking this and, <laughs> you know, like, but mm -hmm. it's, uh, yeah, it's not. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I, I, the thing I love is just drawing just constantly and just seeing, you know, like just making the marks. I'm more of a starter than a finisher. So for me, mm -hmm. it's like, I just like, I'll make something really cool. And I'm like, all right, I'm done. <laughs> but I don't want to labor over mm -hmm. something. Cause it's like, I can just be like, I want to work on something else, you know? Hmm. So that's interesting. Cause a lot of your sketches are so detailed. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I try not to put too much effort into it. Like with the, the time, like I just okay. kind of like the, the ball, the, the brush pen thing is nice. Cause it's like literally you can, you just kind of like let it flow and then if i put like some ink wash on there it's like i'm making i'm already making the layers you know and then you can add on top of it and then on top mm -hmm. um but yeah I, I, yeah the I, I th it's funny because i feel like with the sketchbook stuff like i, I want to like go in a different direction too right now too hmm. it's like i find myself drawing like a lot of like heads and then you know there's something on top of the head and mm -hmm. you know it's like there's a there's environments that should be drawn or you know <laughs> things that should be like integrated with hmm. that that stuff in mind hmm. um, but yeah that would be cool to see yeah. yeah yeah i think that's kind of like the next the next thing like what i do like try to like integrate something that's like environmental um there's only so many head things you can draw you know <laughs> Seven, I, like, to I, be exact. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. i feel like there's like you know people go through that phase where they just draw like certain things over and over again for yeah. sure but yeah I, yeah I like to i mean i used to draw from like a life a lot and i think not that it's there, but I feel like subconsciously there's certain things like that I've drawn from life that do pop up, you know, somewhere back there. That, you mm. know, so maybe the coral reef thing, because I've drawn that type of stuff for school, you know, mm. like or that type of like a like pattern, you know, right? That type of stuff. So, huh. Yeah. Nice. So before you leave, Sir Jazz, rapid questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's right. Question and answer. Blah, blah. <laughs> Who is Jackson Dryden's top five <laughs> dead or alive artists? <laughs> uh, I think they're all dead. So all the good ones are dead. <laughs> da, da, da. Okay. This is kind of hard because I felt like there's so many good artists out there, right? I yeah. know. Yeah, it's an it's offensive like, question we ask like, every yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure everybody adds, says this, right? Yeah. They're just yeah, like, how can I bring it down to five? Exactly. All pretty right. much. All right, here's what <laughs> I like, got. Enough talk. Just do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I will say there's so many good artists out there. I know there's the the Da Vinci's and the Michelangelo's mm -hmm. and the Durr's. Those are some stuff. guys I've heard of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's heard of those guys? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So here's what I got. I got Picasso. Okay. Interesting. Sergeant. Nice. Uh -huh. Arthur Rackham. Oh, cool. Hokusai. Mm. And then Frank Frazetta uh, for ink. Mm. Oh, interesting. Huh. Yeah, not for painting. People, yeah, people don't usually think of him as an ink artist, like off oh the my top God. of your head, but yeah, yeah he was great. He's mm. he's the guy, well, I was introduced to him in art, art school, mm -hmm. and I got like a list of artists, and uh, my teacher's like, oh, you should look at uh, Frazetta's work. He's like, it's very... Um, corny in a way like <laughs> yeah the, the subject matter is corny but his drawing is just masterful and i was like oh, okay cool and i remember seeing the ink drawings and i was just blown away and it's not something i try to emulate mm -hmm. but i definitely admire because it's just it's lively like it's got life to it mm -hmm. you know like it's got something that i've never you know seen other work another person that i like too um, that's not on the list but um is living is aaron horky Oh, okay. And his work. I mean, are you, are you familiar with his work? Uh, we well, his maybe work. a little but bit. More about names. I, yeah, he I, does a lot of like like lettering type stuff. Aaron um, Morky. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody he else knows, brought him up. He knows uh, yeah. David Cho and James Jean hmm. and stuff. But, oh, okay. Um, his work is fantastic. <laughs> um, like for pen and ink and stuff. Awesome. Uh, but yeah, there's th those are the five that I got, and I feel like um, one second. <laughs> 
I feel like for like for Picasso, it was never like a big Picasso person. Like uh-huh. yeah. as like a, as a kid. Right. But I feel like the 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 movement that he's oh, yeah, created. His work, he's awesome. Yeah, his work uh, is yeah. fantastic. Uh, looking at it, Aaron Horky. <laughs> yeah. Um yeah, his his stuff is just insane. I just don't know how he does it. Yeah, offensive. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, his his work is bananas. <laughs> And apples. There's a couple apples. Yeah. <laughs> Get some pears in there. Work his pears, man. <laughs> so many pears. So many. Enough with the pears. Jesus, is so cherries. <laughs> Being cherries. Uh, yeah, yeah, his work, I mean, Aaron Horky's work, not to get off the top five thing, but um, yeah, he's a super cool guy and just his work is just... Have you met him? I've never met him. I've talked to him like a couple times on in Instagram. Oh, he's okay. just the nicest guy. Nice. Yeah. That's um, when when you talk to someone on Instagram, you just can say that's your good friend. Yeah, that's my good. <laughs> yeah. my good friend. We're uh, we're roommates, and uh... <laughs> <laughs> we've talked a couple times on Instagram. No, so we're good friends. <laughs> I, I don't want to be the name dropper guy, but yeah, it's his work is fantastic. It's, yeah. just, it's just so unique, and yeah, I always like where's that? I'm trying, I think I just passed it. It's this like bird thing he did. He does I always thought birds. that, I always thought that like this helmet thing was yeah. like, so it's not loading that well, but yeah. I remember when he was posting that on Instagram or something. I don't remember where I saw it, but I was like, oof. Yeah, <laughs> it's oof. game changer kind of <laughs> artwork. <laughs> 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 uh, but, but yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, I just, uh. It's cool to see like new artists, or not new, but like artists on Instagram that you've never seen. Yeah, I know. Just like you know, it's like know. good God. Do you guys know uh, Lindsay Levendahl? I'm horrible. I don't names. think so. He does a lot of like almost like Dolly esque. Um, huh. No, I don't think I've seen yeah. it. Yeah, he's another really good like ink guy. It's very okay. um, kind of stream of conscious type stuff again. Hmm. Uh, I think it's. Uh, I guess when it comes to it? pen and uh, ink uh, artists, I'm not that. Okay. So I think it's no. There's no D in Lindsay, I think. Oh. And then it's a L E V E N D A L L. Yeah. L E V what? Uh, L E. There he is. Eleven no. doll. Hmm. Yeah, he's got definitely like a a dolly, dolly esque. Dolly was close to my top five, but I had mm. to. <laughs> I took a. I put Sergeant instead of Dolly, mm. just because of the. The output of work that oh, Sergeant I've never does. Seen this guy's work. Oh, it's awesome yeah, though. This work is amazing. It's awesome looking. Yeah, mm-hmm. he, yeah, he's, that's the one I like too. <laughs> he's super, super productive. Just constantly. Pick your own training. liking one, Sergio. I pick this one first. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should do a, a an Instagram top five too. Instagram. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because he'd be on my top. He'd be on my top five. Uh, uh-huh. That was cool. Yeah, it's just cool. It's just super, super trippy. Um, you know, just kind of just goes there. I love this color choice too, because it's just it's uh, almost it's like a cool work. It's mm-hmm. almost like yeah, it's almost like a like a dolly esque. Someone's about to get a follow. <laughs> <laughs> about to get two follows. Two follows. <laughs> You're welcome, Lindsay. Yeah. <laughs> and he didn't even have to spend three dollars. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Boom. I just keep going to all the podcasts. <laughs> pumping up Lindsay Levenzel. <sighs> yeah. So yeah. It, I, the the two guys that I really like for Instagram are, are Aaron Horky and, and Lindsay Levendahl. And then uh, Sergi. And Sergio <laughs> and Josh. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. For all my landscaping choices, it's uh, <laughs> Sergio. Uh, nice. And then you have another question, right, Sergio? <laughs> yeah, on the subject of talking about David Cho this, this oh, entire yeah. episode. Uh, yeah. What would you do with uh, David Cho money? <laughs> You know, I I don't think I'd do anything bananas. I would probably <laughs> or pears. <laughs> yeah. I probably would just uh I wouldn't work. <laughs> and... You could pay off your uh, million billion dollar house. <laughs> That's right, my yeah. mansion. Yeah, my <laughs> my three bedroom, two bath uh, <laughs> my house. Um I'd pay that off, yeah. I'd pay the car <laughs> off. <laughs> I probably like would take care of my friends and family. Like buy their art. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd probably like, you know, whatever they would have to if they had any bills, I'd just pay them <laughs> yeah. off. Not all the time, but I'd get them going. And get them even. I'd be like, dude, Boy. here's your house. Like you're, Take z- care. you're zero. <laughs> yeah, you're zero. Yeah. <laughs> you're not bankrupt anymore. <laughs> now you never have to talk to me uh, again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is people start asking for more. Yeah. You hear from yeah. NFL yeah. players and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'd probably just take care of family and friends and then travel a lot. Nice. And then just keep drawing. Yeah. yeah. And that's probably it. I probably wouldn't do anything 
Crazy. Draw on gold. Yeah, draw on, <laughs> draw on platinum. Yeah. Yeah. My this platinum painting pen. is worth $10 million. Yeah. There's $10 million worth of gold. <laughs> My painting added no value. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear the, the, the Louis C.K. joke about him buying the... Uh, the shitty like pencil store thing where you charge like a million dollars for pencils. Like, uh, like he, he had like, it, no. yeah, it, it sounds was, familiar, but yeah, it was like, it was like, it was like sh- shit house, pet fuckers. Pet store. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you like, you were just yeah. like, everything would be super expensive. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right, like, yeah nobody yeah. would be able to like, everybody would be like, why is the bag of food $10 million? And he's yeah. like, he's like, and just keep it going. <laughs> just keep the rent going. <laughs> just like, He's like, why is, why is shit house pet fuckers? Why are they? They're making. They're still here. It's been forty years. <laughs> Just like uh, you had to get something about a stationery store with the same type yeah, of thing. Where it was like, a, like a pencil's ten thousand dollars, like no one would buy it. But you just keep yeah. it going. So I guess I'd do that. <laughs> David Cho would be your only customer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, nice. yeah. Buy an art supply store and charge insane amounts. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I wouldn't have anything extravagant. I, I mean, I've obviously I'd buy like a, you know, a nice car. And stuff. <laughs> right. Yeah. I wouldn't go bananas with it. I wouldn't go crazy because I know there's people that are just be like, I, you know, make a restaurant, <laughs> yeah. do this and that, and it's like, ah. Oh. Just low key, don't, don't yeah. go too crazy. Yeah. It's more interesting for me to hear like what people would do with their art, like what's holding their ba- them oh, back yeah. from a lack sense. of money. Yeah, some people have some good ideas because they're starving artists. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'd eat tuna every other day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. look out, top ramen. Yeah, <laughs> I got some real shrimp in here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sponge shrimp. That you me. Exactly. Yeah, I, I had a teacher that just ate like tuna sandwiches all day and he's like dude if i ever see a tuna can i'm just gonna vomit mm. <laughs> i was like yeah he was a yeah he's, a, he's a teacher at san jose state mm. yeah he uh i was like dude don't eat that <laughs> the mercury <laughs> yeah exactly. is really high see, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why are you glowing <laughs> <laughs> yeah. why is there a third eye <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i wish i had something like amazing to be like 200 million dollars but then again 200 million dollars nowadays is like you know, if you think about like Silicon Valley people, yeah, you live in the Bay Area, just, like too hire long Metallica if you think it's to play their impressive. backyard, you know, yeah. for ten million bucks. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, what would you guys do? I would, <laughs> I would start a show called the Cho Show. <laughs> the Cho Show. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you be David Cho. Like, yeah. You just take his identity. Plastic <laughs> surgery yourself in a David Show. <laughs> just like you gotta stop it, dude. <laughs> Creeping me out. <laughs> exactly. How about you, Sergio? Sergio I would, would buy two million, two hundred million dollars worth of Facebook stock. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, Sergio, uh, for do? me, I would um, uh, have different studios all over the world. Oh, that's <laughs> like cool. Make my that's own, a good idea. Yeah, just different. I guess buy a bunch of property. <laughs> become a property manager <laughs> at a certain point. But yeah, that and then uh, spend money making like really elaborate things to paint from life <laughs> yeah that'd be cool mm-hmm. yeah i can I, I could see the the studio thing because like you know like, I, I don't have a studio i always dream mm-hmm. like oh a studio i guess work and you know mm-hmm. but yeah studios would be nice do you guys is there other studios around here in santa rosa oh yeah yeah there's a lot well i have my studio is yeah. actually a, a building out there that's cool um and there's a couple ones downtown by juilliard park there's a little bit of a community there okay mm-hmm. and there's probably other studios is that the elsewhere. type of thing you have to like show your work like annually or biannually to like keep the thing going oh oh yeah you know they do that where they're like you got to show your work get out of your <laughs> get out of your hole and <laughs> yeah start showing the paintings you're um i don't know if they do that for okay. anywhere around here but for we mine do that, we like don't art start or the what art is it start. the art oh trails? art trails yeah but that's like you have to pay money to to yeah. do that it's purely up. voluntary. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you want to keep uh, this place? Yeah. Exactly. There's one Clean other the question. Oh. Uh, would you <laughs> Would you want the power of flight or uh, invisibility? Ooh. Good question. Um, do, do, do. I probably want. That's a good question. <laughs> probably flight. I'm guessing. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Wrong answer, bro. <laughs> uh, I said flight. I know they're both. I've I've heard this question a thousand times, but I never really thought about it. I'd say flight. 
Okay. What would you you want to be invisible? Oh yeah. What would you do though? Rob Banks. Rob Banks. <laughs> <laughs> such a such a get saint my, you are. Get Josh. my David Cho money. On. <laughs> <laughs> you just see this like stack of a hundred dollars just floating around the bank. You're like, what? Uh, What's that doing here? Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. I yeah. guess. Yeah, invi- uh, there's like this uh, thing about yeah. invisibility is like the evil power and yeah it's like shows who you are and flight <laughs> is like the good person power <laughs> you um, what would you do well i started with flight but josh talked me out of it oh, <laughs> <so> <laughs> <the dark side. laughs> because if you think about it practically um if you only can fly but have no other special power uh there's only you can only go so fast <laughs> yeah <laughs> and you it's get, pretty dangerous yeah well you, you get have to wear like, it. goggles I mean, and a helmet oh, yeah. it's so hard <laughs> <laughs> and then um could you is it like a, the height of a bird flight or is it like way up high kind of like well, stratosphere you, flight you, like, you have to figure that out i guess <laughs> It'd be funny if you yeah, just flew like then, five feet above <laughs> the yeah. you would have to bring <laughs> oxygen with you yeah. that's true yeah. And then um, on top of that, then people would uh, figure out you can fly, and then you would have to be like showing like off for everyone. <laughs> You'd be like an Uber of uh, <laughs> yeah. hop on my back. I'll take you to and Walmart. Then if you're invisible, you can just like hop on a plane, <laughs> invisible, and then sit down, and you can fly wherever you want to fly. It's true. We have to sit on someone's lap. <laughs> no, because there's always like there's always the Southwest is always full. <laughs> no, you, there's you, always, like, you would always go like to the best airlines. That's and, true. And mm. just, Hop on just learn the flights jet. that are like not that popular, <laughs> you know, like not, and then just get to wherever you want to go. That's true. All right. How about this? So, Would you rather be blind or deaf? Deaf, for sure. I'm already feeling like I'm going deaf. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. So, like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'd have I'm to go with, with that. deafness as well. Deafness. Plus, we're artists, so yeah. I got to see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be create the... a new movement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what I do is <laughs> I take I wonder paintbrushes if, to my hand. If uh what's his name? Kim whatever? Uh, Kim Kim Jong G. Yeah. Kim yeah. Jung-Gi. I wonder how good he could be Sorry. if he if they blindfolded him and he just was like they're like just Dude, draw a horse. And he's like, Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. He could do that. I, think I he bet he could. Yeah. That guy's but, amazing. He's offensive. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah, yeah, he's he's awesome. Awesome. Well, that's pretty much been the show. If anyone wants to find your Instagram, oh, uh, Dryden Art, Dryden Art, D R Y D E N Art. Oh yeah. <laughs> and do you have your stuff anywhere else? Is Instagram pretty much the best uh, place to find your stuff? Dormant, but yeah, pretty much Instagram would be it. Awesome. So yeah, and we'll shout you out on the Instagram so people can find you. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, Thank you so much for doing Thank this. Yeah, I know you fun. got a yeah, big shindig to go to after <laughs> this. Three-year-old's party. Yeah. <laughs> so don't get too drunk. Uh, I know. <laughs> First thing that's going to be offered to me, not cake. Yeah. <laughs> I want a beer. We've got to get through this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But uh, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. This has been Wait and Dry. If you're still listening, fuck off. <laughs> awesome.